all right guys welcome back today we're trying things a little bit differently um so i'm all actually this game i actually bought it it's not like one, a free-to-play game or something like that it's 25 dollars on steam and as always i'll leave a link to the game in the description um but this is gonna be a different kind of video because this is gonna be like a longer less play of like an actual full game instead of like a short indie game i would appreciate any feedback that you guys have tips tricks because I've tried to do videos like this before and I usually suck at it. But I'm going to try to just beat this all in like one super long play. Um, and I'm going to take shots of alcohol if I lose because I'm feeling like super confident after playing the multiplayer version of this yesterday and beating people that hadn't played the game before. So I feel like I can do this without dying. But yeah, if you saw the video yesterday, that was the multiplayer version of this. I found out this is the actual single player version that was released in 2018. Story mode. A special mode for those who enjoy the plot the most. Auto battle... No, I don't want that. Classic mode. Recommended for all players. The ultimate game experience. Challenges, suffering, and hardship of weight. Excuse me. Iron Man mode. The initial difficulty will be higher than normal. And you will not be able to change it during the course of the game. Only the last save will be available. So you will not be able to go back and alter important decisions. Kind of went... Hmm. We'll do a classic mode. We might try iron mode later if, I, if classic mode is not too long and it's enjoyable. Year 300 since Divine Retribution and Spring Equinox. Da da da. We walk through random people. Is that me? Oh, I'm crying about something. Huh. Sad boy. I'm the only one with eyeballs. Oh, there goes my eyeballs. Well, <laughs> unfortunate. The big bads. Ah. Oh, we're winning, boy. We are fucking them up. <laughs> this is like really graphically pleasing. I am a Dynasty Warriors character. Rawr. We're doing the thing. What are we doing? Having spasms. Let's do this. Leroy! Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. The ultimate strategy. Honorable Sudoku. Ah, oh, crap! Suck! The arrows stopped me from doing my honorable Sudoku. God dang it. Oh, I'm still alive. Hey! Hi! Oh, that dude's head just fell off. Oh, he ain't coming back. <laughs> Why did that one dude fall apart so much more than everybody else? That dude in the middle just like completely crumbled. Everybody else is still standing up, chilling. <laughs> Unsolved mysteries oh. are like an unquenched thirst. Premonitions True. of trouble to spur you to keep going. Alright. It says spur you on, I'll spur you to keep going. <laughs> I'm not the only one that can't read. This narrator fails that as well. That looks like the dude from the tutorial in the multiplayer game yesterday. One thousand and two years since divine retribution. Because it is the end of winter. The Vale of Mercy. Foothills of the Milky Mountains. Ah, oh, this is the tutorial from yesterday. I know how to play this. Skip tutorial. Skip. 700 years ago, you and the Kur other Kuros took to the field of Drowsy Deep, seeking to prevent a great calamity, the reaping. Your self-sacrifice should have destroyed the reapers once and for all. Nine years ago, you began feeling a growing sense of unease and decided to roam a tr to roam ter Terminum in search of the, the cause. A month ago, you met a temple servant in the town of Gordon. They were, there was something peculiar about him. Feeling a long forgotten sense of dread, you realized it was an umber reaper, reaper in disguise. He noticed you too, but not chose not to pursue. Bowing in jest, he merely winked at you. Ah, he wants a dick. 
The return of the Umbra, Umbra forewarns of an impending reaping. So you head to the Milky Mountains, <laughs> the Milky Mountains boy, <laughs> seeking the local Cirrus. You hope to learn the time and place of the coming reaping and prevent it. When you stepped onto the narrow path, you noticed several sets of footprints. At the time, you might you thought others might be seeking advice from the Cirrus, but they're just ordinary bandits in search of prey. Ah, wanting to get an ass whooping. I know how to play. I know how to play. Skip, skip. Yes, yes. Pipe. So I can go here, right? And I can do the circular strike. Watch this. This is going to be badass. They're doomed. Oh, my Wamo Shinru, son. What's up? Wow. What the? This is a North Star, son. He going to throw an axe at me. Ha ha. Now we punch him in the energy because he has low energy. I remember that from the tutorial, Big Brain. Maybe I should have done Iron Man mode. I think I'm ready. I'm just cocky enough to think I'm the best. Whack! He did the same thing in the tutorial. But we didn't kill both his buddies at the start, so... Whap whap! I guess we're not going to be drinking too much this time. Because I don't think I'm going to die. I don't plan on it anyways. Bring it! Ow. And a win! Easy. Victory! You are about to knock on the hut's door when it swings, suddenly swings open. A woman appears on the doorstep. You, your heart leaps from your chest. She's the one you left behind when you fight at Drowsy Deep. She's the one you loved. Emma. <clears throat> In a detached manner. Lance, it took you a long time. It's been 702 years. You managed to survive where 12 of our kin perished. Did you go into hiding? <sighs> Please call me Hopper. I have, I'm already used to the name. I was called Blance when we were together. I wasn't hiding in that battle, you know. I was wounded, pierced by arrows. That's why I didn't complete my task. Huh. Hmm. Yes, I've heard the legend of tw the Twelve Brave Ones. They who cast an enchantment on themselves and turned to stone. They achieved their goal. The land they helped, they called home, was free of plague and reaping. A price too high, though, by my reckoning. Why did you come in search of me again? I wasn't lucky for you, but the lo for the local Cirrus. There are signs. Beasts are leaving the forest of Detora. The Vandal Witch has been sighted on woodland trails. I ran into Atraka. Atrak! While in Gordian myself. They have returned. Is another reaping upon us? That's a foolish question, Har Hopper. I do not foretell the obvious. You might as well have asked whether winter will follow autumn. The reaping is coming, you know it. All these loose ends shall be tied. Mm. Not if I have anything to say about it. That's a foolish... Oh, wait, that's what she said. Haha. <laughs> what do you know about the coming reaping? The mere fact that it's coming. Rivers will run red with blood. And the abyss will claim many tortured souls, but why this sudden concern for mortals? We're mere parasites on the body of mankind. There's nothing to be proud of. Even if we are both Umbra, we have long embraced the human way of life. I care about the fate of Ter Terminum. To the reaping, we are no more than specks of dust. This time, we don't have twelve comrades willing to sacrifice themselves. Among those still living, some will succumb and become reapers. Do you really wish to involve yourself? I need to stop the reapings. They're happening again because of me. It's my fault. Yeah, if you would have committed Sudoku, it would have been fine. Still thinking of yourself? We are maggots, the lowest of, lowliest of servants, lucky enough to have a seat at the table. Are you looking for the forsaken gods of this land? I have a book that describes his life of one. Here, take it. I had a good life reading through the nonsense. Receiving the gift. Thank you for the book. I've been searching high and low for similar records, but still. When and where will the reaping begin? That's where I'm needed. I know it. 700 years ago, the dead have blamed me. I need your help. This is a lot of dang talking. Give me your knife, the same kind of brethren sacrifice themselves with. Give it to me and you'll get your answer. 
passing the bundle. Pity, I'd really hope to use it. I doubt anything else can kill a reaper. Well, here you go, but why do you want it? Taking the knife. <clears throat> the reaping shall begin on the day of the vernal equinox, both in the north and in the south, in the towns of Wodan and Albius. I wouldn't waste time if I were you. Sadly, I don't have time to reach to the, reach the north. Farewell. I hope our paths close again, though you still haven't told me why you need the knife. I saw you kill me with this very knife, Hopper, so I hope our paths never our paths never do cross again. Farewell. What? What does one need to meet old age in peace? Thank God he's Only reading. to avoid a major disaster. Ah, keep reading, please. Send help. <laughs> God dang. All right, I got my shot poured in case I do meet an unexpected end, but I don't think I will on normal mode. I don't believe it. Since divine retribution, Burkana, the kingdom of Odala, city of Albius, town of Albius, spring equinox, bitch. <laughs> Eighth year of peace since the last <laughs> war. Damn. A retired captain of the guard and his daughter are strolling through the festival market. Hey, what's up, girl? Oh, dang, she just ninja. That's a double track strike chick right there. She's a hero. She's one of my favorite characters. Strange, a woman in odd clothing is walking away from the town hall. Her beauty should be turning heads. Yet, I seem to be the only one who notices her. But uh, are you daydreaming again? You nudge your daughter when you see the Burgomaster, Baron Trouble, appro approaching. Reading's hard. Good day, Lord Thor and Glenna. I take it there is a reason you've been scouring the market since dawn? Looking for a gift for Licky? Who the hell is Licky? Uh... <clears throat> Are you choosing a festal sacrifice? Nothing has changed here. My death would do the citizens a favor. There are even those who look forward to it. Faking a frown. I hope the paper rope te tears just as it did last year. Cobble smikes and smiles at your joke with appreciation, nods and continues his stroll. Well, it looks like we got carried away and we're not getting any closer to picking a gift for Licky. The hell's Licky? What are we going to get her? Care to give me a hint? What would your mother like? Oh, it's their mother. In the dialogue window, this icon means that your choices will have far-reaching content. Consequences. How can I tell where that is? We're, oh, in the bottom right. Cool. If only Mac came to visit. There's talk of trouble on the borders. Your brother must be rather busy. I hope he finds time to send his mother a letter at least. I hope so too. He would have known what gift to get her for her birthday. I'm sure you can manage on your own. Narrator, attack! Please! <laughs> Please! There's a ton of dialogue in this game. Ah, choices! Let's talk to her. Was there something you wanted to talk about? I know what Mother really needs. Good health for her ailing heart. With hope, is there any way to mend it? Magic? Help from the gods? I don't put faith in magic. Even the gods, it doesn't seem to... Even the gods, it seems, does don't offer help to their service. Remember how we call their temple? The divine, Temple of Divine Retribution. Only fools expect any help from them. I wish we knew why they had the, to exact this retribution on your mother. <sighs> then we should be content with what the market has to offer, and I'm going to win tomorrow's fencing tournament in her honor. Do you honestly think she'll take pleasure in watching her daughter hurl herself at another b another's blade, even if it is but a practice sword?
Mom used to fence when she was younger. You wouldn't understand, Dad. <laughs> I never could understand that. See? Thank the gods she never had to use that skill. Alright, let's go buy something. Alright, you taught me into it. Fabrics and clothing or jewelry and antiques. Let's go to Rast's shop, I guess. Did Dad find out where I really go during my midday walks? There's nothing criminal in it, but I'd rather nobody knew of my manuscript hunting. I've told him that I go to the pastry shop, which usually isn't true. I just hope Rask doesn't betray my secret. Geldo, this is Rask, an old friend and expert in all kinds of curiosities. We've known each other since Oda. Hello, Rask. It's been a while. Oh, it's been three years, my dear Thorn. We've been run into each other now and then, but ever since you arrived in town, newly retired, and bought a silver necklace with a garnet, you've forgotten all about my shop. Are you here for a gift for Licky? God dang Licky, boy. You guessed right. Will you buy, help me pick something nice? I remember the last time you bought her a birthday present. It was exactly on the vernal equinox. I won't hide it. I have been pleased. I'd have been pleased had you started buying jewelry from me ever since, every year since. My wife hasn't been interested in jewels for the past few years, though the garnet necklace is her favorite. She's been feeling better as of late. Is it true that garnets eat a weak heart? If I'm not mistaken, garnets possess no magical properties, but other, certain other stones do. His eyes are weird for a regular merchant. Concoctions cannot mend an ailing heart, but the warmth of a loving family can pre preserve it. Though I have heard that there is no particularly skilled healer in Ursus. Ah, uh, that there is a particularly skilled healer in Ursus. Unda is her name, but she can't, even she cannot perform miracles. Concoctions, oh, oh. What stones are you talking about? You are wearing one of them on your chest, the Strix, your captain's insignia, and your protection. In troubled times like these, it can protect you from common woe. Common woe? What do you mean? A common woe? That is how each text describes the reaping. A plague that ha takes countless lives. I see you enjoy per perusing... perusing... Ancient manuscripts. Get off it, old friend. Try something other than old legends if you want to sell your wares. And you, Gleta, it's high time you grew out of such fairy tales. Hmm, if you doubted the magical properties of the Trix, Strixes, then remove your captain's insignia and just put it away. It might be of use. Although several generations have passed without the need for such stones arising. Why are you so fixated on this pendant? Is the Strix really that valuable? I offer nothing to no one without purpose. Nevertheless, I've been having premonitions as of late. Providence must have brought you to my shop today. You are looking for a gift, and I want you and your family to survive the co coming troubles. Call me superstitious, even mad, if it pleases you. I hope I am not... I hope I am mistaken, but my premonitions tend to come true. And you, Thorn will benefit from this stress, Strix. This I know, it is indeed expensive, but you can pay in installments over years, several years if you like. Rask reaches into a box and places a highly polished stone on the counter. The metal setting is very unusual. It looks like an insect tightly clutching the stone in its legs. If this large Strix reduces in size, the platinum base will squeeze its legs to grip it tightly. Think of it as magic if you like. Tell me how your amulet works. I'll tell you what the ancient texts say about Strixes. When a common woe comes, death walks among mankind and saps their vigor. Ah, but death finds a Strix sweeter life, sweeter than one's life, more alluring, 
Until the stone has been sucked dry, the wearer has yet will wearer will yet live. It gives hope. You're saying hope can be bought? What then is the price? Such rarities do not come cheap. The price for this stone is 100,000. Uh -huh. It's 100,000 gold coins. Psych? Even if I paid you over 10 years, I still couldn't afford it. If you only knew how quickly decades go by. What I mean is that at my age, I've already been... I've been already... I've been already been thinking in decades for some time. In our case, every hour counts, right, Gleta? Does anything come to mind? I'd consider the strikes. Listening for something. Here is what we'll do. Take the stone, no deposit, no acknowledgement of debt. And I'll take your word, Thurn. For if you lie, I will lose faith in the kindness of men. If you or your family find no use for it in the next year, you'll return it, agreed? It would be foolish for me to decline such a generous, generous offer. A strix it is, then. Even if I do have to return it in a year's time, Rask, you're behaving quite strangely today. You take the strix from the table and hide it under your shirt. You look up at Rask, he is staring at, your, at the ceiling, his face pale. Strix received 20. At first you are confused, but then you hear the ringing, bell ringing from the town hall. Why is the town bell ringing? If I were trouble, I would have had the chimesman heads chopped. Ah, oh, gosh. Had the chimesman's head chopped off. Is he drinking again? It is even noon. The bell rings four times a day. Don't you find it annoying, Rask? You watch in surprise as Rask takes a big sack and starts emptying the contents of his numerous drawers, big and small, into it. <laughs> Going pale. Just a matter of habit, my dear Thorn. With time, you get used to much stranger things. Hurriedly, you do not realize how wise of a choice you've made. Silver could be of use, of course, but a Strix will most certainly aid you. And if it does, how long will I be paying for it? Five years? A decade? The bell keeps tolling. Rass slings the sack over his shoulder and takes an axe with a curved handle from the wall. It no longer matters. I hope we meet again. I would flee town from, from the town if I were you. The forest of, fortress of Alpacum is the safest place to go. The merchant retreats into his shop. He, you hear the back door open and close. That's weird. Turning to Gleda. Gleda, it looks like Rask has lost his mind. We should leave. Oh no! Everyone's dead! Gosh dang it! Alright, oh, that dude. Oh, stomach piercing boy. He's got some weird piercings. You see Bear in trouble lying on the ground. Blood flows from his mouth, nose, ears, eye, and eyes. He is dying. To no one in particular. Resilient. You struggle to stay on your own feet. Blood gushes from your nose. Glelda, scared to death, cowers behind your back. Rather tech taciturn. Rather tech. What do you want? Nothing. The Burgomaster decided for you all. Decided what? Ritual. A tribute to memory. You use the last of your strength to keep standing. Your heart pounding is about to leap from your chest. Your throat tightens. Dying already? No, I'm going to live a while longer. It looks as if the monster is grinning. It clutches its fist. Pain shoots through your heart and your chest tightens. A moment later, the pain stops. Ah, yes. Major hit, minor injury. The reaping is growing stronger. Dope. The towering monster looks at you for a moment, then extends its arm and points to your pendant. Do not lose it. The reaping begins with your family, Thornburnen. The monster vanishes. You shake your head, coming to your senses. Oh, blessed gods. 
Did you hear what it said about our family? Quick, we've got to go home. Ah, I took a minor injury, injury and something something happened. Glad it cries out, stopping you in their tracks. She hastily pulls some kind of colored plagues from under her belt. These almost buried me, burned me. Brass gave them to me a few weeks ago. Supposedly they, they turn used they used to be magic battle cards in the past. They become a burning hot all of a sudden. Nice. We got cards. Sick. The magical plaques are too hot to, to hot to the touch, almost burning your fingers. Yet they fit fit comfortably in the palm of your hand. You feel as if you could, with but a gesture, sling spells at your foe. Could they be regaining their power because of the reaping? You wonder where Ras came by these cards, but you remember seeing them peddled as curios and souvenirs at some at many Brucanon markets. Sound of footsteps comes from somewhere up ahead. Three thugs are bearing the way. Their swollen faces are contorted with mindless rage. Did highwaymen become so brass to as to attack town folk? With a swift motion, you draw your sword, but the thugs are unimpressed. You look closer and notice their eyes are vac their vacant with the vacant eyes and foam at their mouth. And foam at their mouths. Your opponents are either very drunk or insane. You step in front of Glinda. I'll beat some sense into them. Stand back. In response, Glid Glenda stops, steps aside and draws her own blade. <laughs> Did I practice with the sword all these years just to cower behind your back? Together we can deal with them faster. What your daughter is really asking for is some stern parenting, but the thugs attack you with feral roar. 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 You can only hope Glenda ta has taken your lessons to heart. Yeah, I got this. I know how to do this. Didn't I hit skip tutorial? I wonder what kind of wound I took from that one dude. Take that. Ha ha ha. Bring it. What is he doing? He can walk that far? What the heck? You dick. I'm gonna use heavy strike to get my strength up. Hiya! Oh, what the? F Whoa. Why did I take so much damage from killing him? Huh. She might be dead. You might be taking a drink. <laughs> wow, that was... that hurt. Why did I take so much damage? Is there a way to tell? Maybe I should click him. Give us an extra turn. It doesn't say anything about him returning attacks, but... What's my cards? I wonder if you get to keep the cards or if they're gone, gone after you use them. Oh, it took my turn. That sucks. Yeah, take that, punk. So I don't know why she keeps taking damage when she attacks. I'm not quite sure why that's happening, but it's not good. It's not the good. Okay, so he has a three. Does that mean I take three damage when I hit him? Let's see. He didn't take any damage when he hit him. So. Maybe it's because I got three armor or something? I don't know. Oh, we got a bunch of achievements. Frozen with terror, Gleda stares at the bloody corpses. This is the first time that she has fought to the death. Grabbing your daughter by the shoulders, you shake her until she looks away from the body. She meets your gaze and stealing 
Stealing herself nods with determination. Oh. No. You are proud of your daughter, but even more so, worried about your wife, Licky. There is no time to lose. You sh need to get home as soon as possible. A couple of side alleys later, you open the, the familiar gate. Yay, we got money. You run into the house. Blood covers the living room floor. Old Tanner, your housekeeper, stands at the door, trembling. Quinna, his daughter and your maid, lies motionless on the floor. Just beside her is your wife, Licky. Glad to, oh, glad, be strong. Mother, no, please no. Many years ago, you ventured into the veil at the edge of the world. That day, death looked you in the eye. Today, it clenches its bonus, bony fingers around your heart. You are petrified. Gladys' tears soak into Blicky's black hair, the same hair that enraptured you nearly a lifetime ago. Gladys, it's just the two of us now. Get a hold of yourself. I cannot do this without you. Weeping heavily. Such a tragedy has befallen us. Oh, such grief. First, both Licky and Queena screamed in pain. Then my daughter seemed to lose her mind. She went at Mistress Leaky with a knife. Mistress defended herself, but... Glad to give me a hand. Take a sheet from the bed and cover Quino's body. I will, in a moment. Oh, the horror! The horror! His Excellency Count Vichdi and his son, young son Bran. Always said it would end this way. Oh, Licky, this shouldn't have happened. Dad, I need you. We have to do something. Tinner, you saddle the horses while I'll pack. Coming to his senses. Yes, understood. You brush aside a strand of your wife's hair and notice something odd. A dark blue mark like an ulcer on the nape of her neck. The surrounding air skin is swollen and as if burnt. Glenda also notices it and backs away, her face pale. This is right out of an ancient manuscript. The same thing happened 700 years ago. A pain pierces your neck and grows into a fiery noose that strangles you and you die in terrible agony. They called this plague the reaping. Dad, the back of my neck is burning. Let me see. Damn it, you've got the same mark. Take a look. Do I have it? Nothing? How <laughs> come? Why did the plague spare me? Wait, I don't believe in luck. There must be something else, something that protects me, but what? I hope Ras was right. Click, go ahead, come here, put this on. You pull Ras pendant from the bag and hand it to you. Hang it from your daughter's neck. She nods and you pull her into your brace again. You walk into the front yard and look around. No, you shouldn't bury Licky here. Better do it in the back. Glad it follows you. Get Tinner and get Tinner and bring the bodies here. You tell her, be quick about it. Our time is short. Just wrap them in something, all right? You finish digging. Your hands are shaking, but not from fatigue. Tinner buries his face in his hands. Glad it is shadow. Glad it is shadow of her. Is a shadow of her from herself. Realization dawns. If you halt, sorrow will drown you. You climb out of the freshly dug grave and lift Licky's body. You lay Quinto's body beside that of the, her, her mistress. They used to play together as children. You lift the shovel. Gleda remains still. Tenor mumbles one of the temple's hymns. What could he be asking of the gods, you wonder? What use are prayers for his daughter now? Stop knocking on the damn door, whoever that is in this game. Jesus. You drop the last handful of dirt onto the, uh, to the grave and throw the shovel aside. You feel as if no... If, as if on the edge of a cliff. Your wife is no more. Her body no longer in your warm embrace, but in the cold earth. For some reason, you still live. Gleda hugs you, pulling you back from the precipice, the same as when you met the Reaper. Gleda loads her horse up, weak beaten over the tack. Oh, Mom, how are we going to live without you? She whispers. You embrace your daughter. She presses, presses her face wet with tears to your chest. It's over for Licky, my dear. But for you and Mac, it isn't. 
Remember this, no matter how much it hurts. Glenda nods and tries to steal herself. No longer sobbing, she starts scraping the saddlebags. It's not over for you either, Dad. No matter what you think, I'm nearly finished. Just pack, just need to pack Rast scrolls. Maybe I ought to get a chance to return them. It pains you to look at your daughter, with whose every motion is like that of your wife. You grit your teeth and carry on. There's no time to lose. Help Greta f fasten the package. Greta buries her face in your shoulder. Thank you, Mom's dead. We've got to run from the reaping, and I'm still fussing it with this package. You enter the house and see that Tenor has packed your things, but it seems he has no rush to leave. What's keeping you, Tenor? Ask him about his intentions. Tenor's face darkens. I must write a letter to the Count. I won't lie. I've been keeping him informed about the comings and goings at this house. It's time I sent him a final, le final letter. I will inform His Excellency that you failed to protect your wife just as I failed to safeguard my daughter. I will strike the hell out of him, this bitch. Grief clutches your insides and rage blinds you. Your hands curl in the fist. I put up with an infirmer. Informer in my own house for 20 years and you want to throw me to the wolves as a parting gift strike him You slap tenor across the face. This is the first time you've ever struck him for a brief moment You're blinded by rage arms flailing the man, old man loses his balance and falls back onto his back blood begins to pull under his head Tenor is dead the finality of your actions is crushing you grind your teeth in sorrow. It is as If death itself looms over your shoulder curses you need to pull yourself together the poor sod is beyond help, and Greta mustn't know a thing. You look out the window to make sure Greta is still in the stable. Hunching over a water bell, you splash your face. You then take your things, close the door behind you, and return to the yard. I don't regret it. That old man was a dick. Who's trying to break down our gate? Greta, shut the stable doors for now, just in case. You leap aside to make way for the riders galloping through the open gate. You recognize your old friend, Captain Krieger. So are young Albia soldiers and Fisk, a guardman, guardsman, shouting to his companions. I'll be damned. Quickly, bring the horses in. Thorn, has your old servant gone death or something? I banged my, on my, my fist bloody on your damned gate. Don't you know what's happening in the town? Shut up. I do know. Tinner just lost his daughter and his life. <laughs> do you understand? And I lost my wife. Curse this damn town. Turning to face you. Lucky gods, I'm really, I'm sorry, really sorry. Damn me if I upset you, Thorn. You'll die, so don't worry about it. At this rate, all of us will. What happened to you? Fighting the sweat from his face. When that monster came to town, everyone went berserk. Have you seen the sign it left on the gate? What do we do now? I wanted to ask the Burgomaster, but I didn't think I could make it through. Besides, I had the lads with me. Turning to face the rest. Hey, you pansies, come here. You all right? Uh, looks like you didn't even shit your britches. Take care of the horses while we figure something out. <sighs> shed. One of the soldiers leans against the shed, legs seemingly unable to support him. Brett, lounging about? <laughs> no, just coming to my senses, thinking of what to do. No, just coming... Oh. What hope have you against a reaper? It came after me, you see. You'll see. It knows where I'm hiding, and it will find me again. It came for all of us, numbskull. You think you're special or something? Excuse me. If gods forbid it comes back, it'll be after all of our heads. Thorn, we need to leave now. Nowhere to run or hide. Death is in the air. Okay. Loyalty decreased, Brett. Nice. Listen to me, boy. Do not let fear wag your tongue for you. Curb it, or if you want to die, just go die. Don't drag others into it. Dang, I'm getting, like, all the worst answer choices. We're doing so good at picking the wrong thing. Stop. Quit following Hope's tail. Go tighten the tack on your horse. Oh, you remember me. Help me get rid of this nanny. At this rate, he'll be soon be holding my neighbor, my member while I piss. Let him look after Glado. Why not? 
<laughs> Taking him back. But, hold, aren't we friends? Don't you see what's happening in Albius? Don't drag Glutta into this. I worry about you. <laughs> I'm not raw dough, and you're not a baker. If you want to look after me, do it from farther away. Looking at Hode as he storms away. That's what distress does to men. You look as stiff as a prick in a bathhouse sop. Don't worry, he'll cool off and you'll be good pals again. Thorn, what else did you want from this task, lad? Uh, how are you holding up? I'm trying my best. My knees are shaking. I don't like this one bit. I'd rather have a war. War doesn't keep men awaiting. You'll find that your knees shake less when you're marching. Let's see what lies ahead. The point. Then point us in the right direction. Don't just talk. You're our superior, aren't you? Why are you staring at the gate? Well, I mean... It's a really nice, sturdy gate. We could just stay here and wait for this mess to clear up. We're already knee-deep in it, Sop. What do you think this gate's going to stop? That monster or maybe the plague? What next? Crawling under the sheets? Will it help? I want to do the right thing. What if the madmen come to their senses? Then everything will be alright. Why the sour luck? Should I sing and dance? This is no fort. We have to get to Orsus. Its walls are taller. And the Jaranen army is nearby. The king himself is there and we won't go hungry. All you care about is stuffing your face. If the entire Jaranen army loses their mind like the Albius guards, Jorsus would be good for nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't been inflicted with madness, so there must be someone sane in Ursus too. Let them deal with this mess. These people suck. <laughs> Look at Sop Ramble. He's usually too busy chewing. He probably thought we'd be hiding in a tavern. If you could hide from this mess in a tavern, I would be there already. Krieger, do something. We didn't join Brennan's company by cho chance, did we? I mean, no disrespect, Captain. Then respect my decisions. First, we need to leave the town. We'll ride to the nearest menher to get rid of the plague. We'll see where we can go from there. Oh, it's the increase. Stop. Well, at least it went up with somebody. The punk. Krieger, forget about trouble. The Burgomaster is dead. We're up to our belts and shit. What do we do now? Wash the shit stains and run. Take the back of everyone's neck. The plague leaves a mark. You said something about going berserk, Krieger. We figured that out already. None of my lads are marked. Checked them myself. Townsfolk have been... <coughs> Excuse me. Townsfolk have been clutching their necks, though. <coughs> Who's this guy? The gods showed pity on us, spared us from the plight. Why'd we... Why we'd be skirming on the ground without him? Thank the gods. OT increase fix. Fisk. You invoked the gods, but they not to, they've not to do with it. Confound them. Well, we've got the Strix to aid us, and you, Fisk, what do you have? What do you mean? I have a spear and armor, though they aren't the highest of quality, I admit. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear. A bit slow on the uptake, aren't you? I'll explain myself, but I won't repeat myself. I'll explain, but I won't repeat myself. Strixes protect you from the plague. Krieger and I have our captains to save us. These lads have their earrings with flecks of stone. Where's your Strix? Showing you a piece of jewelry. I've got a small one on this pen. Used to be my mother's. I've kept it in memory of her, though I don't wear it. It's a lady's pen, after all. <laughs> Excuse me. So she protects you even in death. Pray to your dead mother, Fist, rather than the gods. How should I know? I was standing guard by the northern gate with Fisk. May the gods punish him with sobriety. Suddenly a monster appeared. I've heard of this creature. Temple records refer to them as reapers, for they come in reap time. They don't always look like monsters. Sometimes they appear almost human. 
Umbra they call themselves, but there's only a passing mention of them in the Chronicles. I've got an idea. I've got no idea, and frankly, I don't fucking care. I just know what I saw. Such a sight. You shit your britches. Many did, in fact. They all fell to the ground. The monster drew some kind of mark on the gate and let out a screech. <sighs> the Reaper said the gate was sealed and death would come for all. It spoke in the temple tongue and then in Fris Frisian, Frisian, getting to shout. He's always shouting. Shut up already, you fucking whittling! You've been prattling on and on and I, if only you waved your sword around with as much bravery as you wag your tongue, you snot-nosed brat. Voice quivering. Uh, have I ever given anyone a reason to call me a coward? Krigger, drop it. Hold your horses, you two flit. Calm down. How come you kn know so many languages? Still tense. Just had to learn them. Many records exist only in Frisian or in the Temple Tongue. Knowledge is never useless. As for courage, you either have it or you don't. And you can't know if you do till there's need of it. Says something about going berserk, Krieger. Well, you see, the mist monster just etched a sign on the gate and vanished. Then the bell started ringing and everyone went to, everything went to shit. The people got their feet and started beating the living daylights out of each other. Some scampered off, others took up arms. Some folk used their bare hands. Fisk and I ran for it, but that didn't go too well. Even people we knew were lunging at us. We wanted to avoid killing them, of course, but the th way things were... We fought our way out of the stables and found these here lads. I see, it's starting to make sense. The plague leaves a mark and it makes you go berserk, but not always. Perhaps some possessed the fortitude to resist, or do Strix have aught to do with it? The mark's not a death sense then. If you can resist it, things are looking up, lads. Something to drink to. Time to leave this town. Damn, it almost slipped my mind when that thing left its sign on the gate, the town folk didn't use their minds right away. First, a merchant rode through the square in a gallop, and a, it's a miracle he didn't trample anyone. He turned the handle on the winch, slid something between the gates, opened them up, and off he went. All by himself, and here I thought he was a good-for-nothing milksop. Surely you know him, short beard, always smiling, shop, shop near the town hall. Doesn't shy away from drinking, either. Brask, so he managed to get out of town. Is the gate still open, then? No, the town folk, we're already going berserk. Some of the guards went after this rash fellow, by the way, then slammed the gates shut. No one was holding it open. So it's possible to open the gates after all. Chris Krieger, gather everyone, let's go, we're leaving town. Tenor decided to stay, so we're all ready for now. Sop opened the gate, everyone behind me and Krieger, onward. Yeah, he decided to stay all right. Oh man, this is so much reading. I want to do combat, please. You stop in the square near the ga gate, dismount and peek around the corner. The guard before the gate is littered with corpses. The ground before the gate is littered with corpses. Besides them, the guards shuffle about, scratching their necks and growling. Now and then, they have weapons at the ready. The incessant tolling of the bells makes you squirm as you examine the gate. There is some kind of glowing sigil on it. The square is filled with abandoned carts, baskets, crates, and corpses. There's no way you can ride through. You have to make a decision. <sighs> fight, please. Just fight. Don't you realize what's going on? Why did the monster seal the gate? Those reapers are like children. Very cruel children. Pitting people against each other just to see what happens like playthings. That's what father said. Is your father a temple servant by any chance? A royal scribe, but I didn't want to be a scribe. I wanted to become a warrior, so I fled from the capital. Consider your wish granted. I hope it had lost its charm. It soon will, in any case. How come the madmen didn't scatter? Maybe they serve the reaper now and are bound to its will. Ancient manuscripts make no mention of it. However, it's said that the reaping is different each time. The reaper could have thought of some new trick. Ras mentions something like this too. Just 
discuss the reaping with Rask. Sometimes you don't know anything of history if you don't know the reapings. They drive it, even though they've, there have only been two. Who knew it would come back? Alright, since there's no other explanation, we'll go with this. Shall we try breaking through? What do you mean, break through? Are you out of your damn mind, Thorn? I know these lads, every single one of them. See the red-haired one? You know him too. He was a boy when he came to me, what, 15 years ago? He wanted to become a guardsman, and he did. Do you suggest we hoist our horses over the wall then? I know those lads too. See the woman lying there on the barn? She's mother to one of them. And who do you think cut her down? These are not the people we knew, Krieger. Well, I'm not quite myself when I drink either. Should I be killed for it? How do you know this can't be undone? Do what we will, Captain. What you will, Captain. But I won't lead an attack on my own men. You see the corpses at their feet? Those are our lads, damn it. I'll give the order. No pondering, it's time to act. We cannot just charge them. We need to split up. One group joins the fight and the other circles around to flank and make for the gate. Why split? There's strength in numbers. And what if more madmen turn up? If I'm not here, I'm not here to win a fight. I just want us to get out of here alive. How do we open the gate? It's sealed by the sign. If Rask managed, then so can we. On your guard, you there, follow me. The rest of the gate. What does injury mean, I wonder? I want him, he's an archer. Archers are pretty cool. This dude seems useless. Excuse me. What's this mean? I wonder. Save? Oh, it's an XP thing. We should have some XP, right? Oh, uh, yeah, we can't level up yet, though. Sick. Let's do this. I'll be. Oh, no, the loading didn't take long enough. Alright, thank god there's card map, because now I don't have to read anymore. Lord almighty. <laughs> that is so much reading. I'll be right back while they're taking their turn. Who got hit? Who hit who? Oh, you hit my chick? Okay, dude. You're gonna pay for that one, hopefully. I'm gonna hit him for his energy, see what happens. Oh, I didn't get a choice. Well, oh, he's dead anyways. Worth it. See ya. What? You're making a mistake. Try something. Should I actually moved her dad a little bit closer in, but it's alright. Hey, freezy heart. Yeah, defense seems pretty strong in this game, actually. I haven't been using it much at all, but...
All right, dead shot. How much damage does this do to this guy? Oh, I can't hit him, I don't guess. What? What if I hit his energy? I just want to see what happens. Does it kill him? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's worth hitting him for the energy then. Oh, it's his turn still? Uh-oh. Ow, damn it. Where'd all his health go, by the way? Why does hitting people take your health? That's really weird. Oh, it does say it costs health to use the attack. Got you. That's a little bit different then. Wow. Archers are broken though. If they don't hurt themselves to death, they do so much damage. Just gonna move him up here to make sure that they don't go around and kill my archers. I guess I should use my cards too. Well, I don't know, because the cards do take a turn in this one. It didn't seem like they took a turn in the regular one I played, but I guess you never know. Wow. That's a flavor. I wonder if there's a point to like not take damage because I haven't really been paying attention to it. This guy could literally just about kill himself with his own attack. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know if there's like certain points to like kill people with certain characters to get more XP on them or anything like that yet. I am brand new. Damn it, bitch. So something that's annoying is, is like, unlike the multiplayer one, you don't get like a numbers advantage when you start killing their characters, which is kind of annoying. Because they just keep attacking if they have players or not, so it's freaking a little bit tilting actually. We're gonna stun him. That's a good idea. Why can he hit when he's supposed to be stunned? What the fuck? Can this kill him? I'm gonna see if it does or not. Uh, do we have like a... I have a healing card, right? Well, he might die anyways because he doesn't have energy. Let's use that. This dude's a dick. That stun didn't do anything to him though. That's unfortunate. God, we're just against random bandits, and they're messing me up, son. Lord almighty. <laughs> that was not the good. Following the scuffle, you notice more guards with weapons at the ready. In a nearby alleyway, you turn to run to the gate. Why is it not open yet? Do we want... Do you want to go through this again? Krieger kicks the sealed gate in anger. Shit! That damn rass made it through somehow. Think, what can we do? Gladys suddenly remembers. Rass swipes something 
along the gap between the gates. Do you recall what he said? Silver can come in handy. We have mom's necklace. He pulled the silver trinket from the bag and tossed it to Krieger. He shrugs and slides it through the gap. The reaper's sigil fades away and you, the gate creaks open. Krieger laughs hysterically. Ah, well, I'll be damned. Silver, the silver word. Turn the witch now. You and your company rush into the open. As soon as you close the gates behind you, the reaper's sigil seals them with a hiss. Psst. Soon enough, it's be fits. Soon enough, fists begin to pound on the other side. The bell still tolls over Albius. You look at your companions. I must say my daughter and you, since you decided to join me. At least those who still wish to carry on. We'll try to make it to the nearest minher. Men her. It might help. Onward. Yeah, this is kind of hard, actually. Golden earring. Okay, so XP seems like it's kind of random because... I don't feel like she... I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. It's too early to know. I don't feel like one character got more XP for doing more in the fight, though. You look at the road leading west. There are hoof prints and even dry drops of... Wait a second. Current gold, the healing power of the Sacred Stone is the only hope of saving your daughter. You must travel to the nearest Minher. Hi. There are hoof prints and even dry drops of blood in the dust. You conclude it, lo it looks like Rask pursuers went that way. Krieger, do you think we should try and ha catch up to him? There's more to that old man that meets than the eye can see. In fact, I have a hunch he knows much more about the reaping than anyone else. Krieger scratches his head. I can believe that. I say, saw him open the sealed gate. He definitely knows something. We could still catch up to, with him. But his uh, road, but this road doesn't take us, take you straight to the Minher. Ras got a head start, but his horse is no prize. We can go after him, but we'll lose an entire day, if not more. You start having doubts. And we may lose him. If he's... He's still got those nutty guards on his tail. They could have finished him off already. I have to make a decision now. We'll go get him. How can I tell which one's the right way, actually? My morale is low. Is there a way to tell which way leads to what? Is it going to tell me when I click it or is it just going to do it? Whatever. We'll go to the coal burners track, I guess. A track that connects Albius and the Watchtower. Recently built near the abandoned coal burners, burners village. The coal burning business has moved, but the name has stuck. Let's see what the other one says. A low stone bridge that carries the wide, solid road over a rapid ri mountain river. So I guess it matters what you click for what happens. Once well trodden and convenient, this road was abandoned with the bridge became was abandoned when the bridge became dangerously decrepit. Let's go to the right. Cause I think that's where they said he went, but I don't remember off the top of my head, to be honest. Should have hit the question mark actually. The road curves. From a distance you can already make out the watchtower. The residence of guards and toll collectors. A grisly scene of a recent felony is underfoot. Ransacked cart and a murdered family, husband. Hacked down, wife raped and strangled, and a baby crushed on the ground. A bloody trail leads to the watchtower. Krieger wipes his sweat off his brow and with his sleeve. Damnation! Who could have done this? Where did the bandits come from? The trouble just started, and here they are. Curses! Cusses. The thugs must have gone to the tower. They probably have their eye on the toll collector's money. You raise a hand, demanding silence, and take a closer look at the victims. We were only a few minutes late. The blood is still flat fresh. The bastards who did this couldn't have reached a watchtower yet. Let's pursue them and kill them. Dismount your horses before we go. There was no getting new mounts. We, so we best spare the ones we've got. It's not long before you catch up with the murderers. They didn't expect to see an armed band, but react quickly and scurry through the, toward the forest. You are not letting them go. Prepare to get dumped on, son. Do I lose health? Okay, I start with full health regardless. I have a level up. Yay. That's pretty good. Oh, well, it takes health, though, is the problem. That takes a lot of health. That's pretty... Oh, I like that. Minus 8 to the cost of the health would be pretty sick, actually.
Well, I don't know. This actually seems a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Because she all of her abilities take health, so that's better to get, I believe. Did anybody else level up? No, I don't think so. What's the golden earring do? Oh, it's on stop already. What if I don't want it on stop? At least we're getting more combat now, that's exciting. So when you use turns like that... So can I only move one character to- okay. Can I use a card after I move him though? No, you can only move him and then- okay, cool. I'm learning. Oh, son of a- what the- f what was that? He just lightning blasted her or something. So they get cards too, interestingly enough. Oh, we get multiple turns this turn for some reason. Oh, I no, I just didn't hit the intern thing again. I'm done. Bring it. Ow. Do it. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's kill this archer dude. I think that dude's gonna be a problem if we don't kill him. him because he punches back. <laughs> Murder. Hey. Y'all gonna learn to stop hitting that dude. <laughs> it's a very valuable lesson. I gotta be careful because the dang lightning dude hit me. Oh, I wonder if you can use multiple buffs in one turn, like the counterattack and the defend buff. I wonder if you can do that. Actually, that'd be kind of sick. Oh, he's got that super... St oh, will it kill everybody, though? What's the range on that thing? He's got, like, a super AoE attack, but... I think it hits everybody. Now nah, I'm good. 
I don't want him to kill my whole squad on accident. That'd be awful. Hey. She heals when she kills people, which is kind of broken. <laughs> That dude's killing himself, taking pot shots with this arrow. <laughs> as long as they don't have like a spell book that makes them do like one damage, that dude's fine though, I think. I'll be kind of upset if one of my guys dies because of that though. Wow. It would be my own fault, but I would not be happy about it. Fuck, I suck. Oh, well. Well, that sucks for me. I think she was a major character, too. What'd he just do? Oh, man. I wonder if she's dead. I guess she would be. That sucks, dude. That's real bad. That was really poorly played by me. I could have kept her alive, probably. Oh, well. What did he just do? <laughs> yeah, punk. Oh my god, he's killing everybody. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Somebody's gonna pop a card while they're like super low. That's not good, bro. <laughs> this is not the good. Man. That sucks. If they're dead dead, that really sucks. Unforgiving. Are they injured or dead dead? That's the question. I have no idea. When the fight is over, you glance at the tower. It is not that far. The sounds of battle must have carried well, yet nobody rushed to your aid. On the other hand, that what can a guard or two do against a gang of thugs? Still wondering about that, you tell your companions to ride to the tower. What companions you have left? <laughs> Jesus. You find the gates to the tower open, and no one on watch. You turn to Krieger confused. Krieger looks around. Is this what they call guard on duty? Where is everyone? Stein should be on watch. He's supposed to be reliable, and where's the tollman? By the god, what's going on? Stein! You cut your friends short. Stop yelling. We don't need to attract attention. Go see if anyone's badly hurt, wounded. Krieger shakes his head. They've got a couple of scratches, nothing dire. You rush around, rush at them like a wild beast and everyone falls through. After all we've seen, I tear this filth to pieces with my bare hand. You agree. That's about right. All this dormant filth in our land is showering, showing its ugly face now. Alright, let's have a look around. I don't like this place. Tower looks unoccupied. What could have happened here? Examining the tower, there's blood on the rocks and the gate's broken from the inside, it seems. Someone was killed here, Krieger. What? <laughs> Someone, you say? I think it's obvious. Was either the toll collector or the second watchman or Stein? I forgot who I dispatched here, but where are the bodies, Sod? That Ethorn? What? Let's just go. Looking around. Wise words, Captain. What are we standing around for? Waiting for these madmen to storm out from the town? Wish we knew where to run to. 
No, we must first get to the bottom of this. I don't want to get into even more shit. We're knee deep as it is. And you, Fisk, what thoughts? Maybe it isn't the reaping after all. I say we find a quiet place to hide and sit this out. That's what I always do. It works every time. Just like you hide your ass during one of those your benders, eh? What, where'd that get you? you you're a drunken fool, Fisk. A dr drunken fool. If it's reap the reaping, you can't hide. Doubly it's true. Doubly true if it isn't. Don't you worry. They'll find us. Why would they be looking for us? Not like we've done anything wrong. Killed a couple town folk, but it was all like self-defense. I try telling that to the viscerals. I'd rather control my own fate, thank you very much. I don't want to crawl into a hole and get burnt to a crisp like some sort of pest. Let's say you, Krigger boy, too. Well, returning to town is definitely a bad idea. We barely got away with our lives. I think we need to just look for the sacred stones. It's not far. Not that far, especially on horseback. You think you're smart? The moment people realize what's going on, they'll all rush to the Minher. Let's ride to the stone farther away, shall we? Not many people there, just a small stockade. At the nearest stone, you'll have to too many pilgrims from the neighboring town and villages. Too much of a risk. Who knows how long our strix will last? What if we have merely a day left? Let's get to the nearest Minher, the one by Denford Fridge. We need to send a couple of soldiers to look for Stein. Let's let them search the periphery for a bit. Hold, Brett Flint. You've got Vigor snoop around a bit. You command. Check by the river. Just try to be seen. Try not to be seen. God dang. If we find no one near the tower, we ride on. Let me go with Hold, Stop suggest. Who knows what kind of madmen lurk around the tower. Our boys will need help to fend them off. He, the soldiers draw their weapons and circle the tower. You notice Sop walking in front, obviously shielding hold. Did you see that, pal? <laughs> you ask Krieger. Sop's running around Hoad like a pet dog, and Hoad just turns his nose up. Strange friendship. Krieger laughs. Agreed. You know the nickname Sop got in the company? Clodhopper. He's a kind fellow, very obedient and hardworking, but as soon as Hod's on the horizon, trouble's brewing. You shake your head. Youngsters, always have to keep an eye on them. Till the f fighting toughens them up. As they come in, are they coming back already? That was fast, isn't that what's time with them? Let's go talk to them. Go. Buckling his belt and shaking, buckling his belt with shaking hands. Krieger, is this an inspection? What's going on? It's been a wasteland for half a day and now there's a crowd. Why didn't you stay, all stay in the tavern? Why so livid, Chief? And just what's going on here anyway? Why is the gate open? Stein breaks into a grin and shuts one of the wings of the gate. Scorched on its front half is the same sigil you saw at the Albius gate. Drawing a sword. Stop! Don't touch the second one! Do you want to kill us, you son of a bitch? You'll wake the curse if you do it. Krieger's right, Stein. Don't touch the gate. But the frustrated laugh. Did you shit your britches? Why worry now? We're cursed not to do about it. Not to do about it. The damnable mark really is a pain in the neck, but I soothe it a bit. Want some? Angrily. Throw some of that damned ice down your britches. Gods, the town's gone mad. The guards are killing each other. We're just a polished. We just got out of the polished ship. Now we're deep in it again. So it's the same everywhere, then it all matches. No one escaped, but I didn't abandon my post. Excuse me. Then tell us what happened to your po at your post. The sign didn't draw itself. I don't fiddle with symbols like some temple's milk sop. All I know is that I saw a terrifying creature, a frightful creature. The tollman and I both collapsed where we stood. Ramblin was upstairs. I heard him falling too. Fortunate lad, he didn't fall out the window. The fiend got to the gate and drew some kind of mark, mark as, as if it burned it in. My neck felt like I was on fire. It bared its, it bared its great teeth and told us we were all done for. 
Well, as for those words, perhaps I was just hearing things. Hey. Had it been practicing here or something? Damn, you're lucky to still be in one piece, Stein. You not hear us calling? Doesn't make a good difference to me who is calling. I was picking ice from under the stones. If you don't believe me, hold a knife over the fire and press it to your neck. Then we'll see how you respond. So you're picking ice on your watch with nothing else to do? You want me to check imaginary carts? The only people I saw today were Rast the merchant with that weird axe of his and a dozen of guards chasing after him. Not a single bat bit of luggage. Ah, so we are going the same the right way. Where's the second watchman and the tollman? About the toll collector, you see, there was an accident. He went berserk and attacked me. I fought for my dear life and had to finish him off in the end. His corpse is behind the tower. Strange, ain't it? The t to leave, live like a man and to die like a beast. Ramblin just bolted. He must have gotten, gone to the home village of Denford, the one by the Minher. I don't blame him. As far as I'm concerned, I, he's better off than the toll collector. Ooh. How did you manage to break the sill? By accident. Ramble was inside. He got up so scared he tumbled down the stairs and knocked the rotten gate down with his empty head. That's when we felt the scorching heat. The tollman went mad right away. Luckily for Ramblin, he decided to go at me first. His eyes were bulging. His mouth was foaming. Ugly business. Get your things and come with us. I want to live the rest of my days in such a way that I won't feel shame. I will not abandon my post, and neither should you. You want to accuse us of something, Stein? I'll not judge you, Thorne, especially considering you're retired, but shouldn't Krieger be in charge of the guards and charge of the soldiers and guards in Albius? And kill our own guards and the townspeople who are already killing each other? No, I'm not going to take part in this butchery. Don't forget, Stein, Krieger is captain of the guard. Interrupting, more like Captain Coward. You should be sorting out the mess in the town, not running for safety. I'll manage by myself, though, and thanks. As for Krieger, he'll definitely spend the rest of his days beyond bars. Then you could just drop dead right here. You don't want to get you want to get to the Minher in two days and stay alive. Eat shit, then. Nothing to do here anymore, Thorn. Let's go. Oh, he's kind of right, though. Ramblin. The young guard could have returned to his village near... Denford Village near Minher Valley. If Stein's right, the second guard must have ran there to his family. What say you, Krieger? What kind of person is Ramblin? Not a bad fellow, but ain't worth right rat's puke as a guard. A sort of sorry wimp is what he is. All fancy smancy. His family is his grandma. She's Vandal of the dark skinned folk. You can tell she raised him by herself. Lad's got no father figure. Why'd you take him in then? Pity or did someone ask you to? Who'd give a crap about him? As I said, he's only got his grandma, and as for why I took him in, patrolling is boring, you know. Ramblin knows every tale in the world, it seems. Every guard I would know wanted to be on duty with him, just to listen to the stories he tells. <laughs> That's what too much peace does to, does to guardsmen. Whatever. Having someone from Denford Village certainly wouldn't hurt. At least we'll have somewhere to spend the night if it comes to it. You ride over a couple leagues from the tower. Krieger calls you over. I've got a, a feeling Sergeant's going to blame us for the toll collector's death. Wouldn't it be safer to just kill him? You're about to tell Krieger off, but then you stop yourself. On one hand, Stein is not a bad person, despite his insufferable demeanor. On the other hand, the last thing you need is guardsmen chasing him. Chasing you. I'll forget it. You look at Krieger and shake your head. Sorry, pal. Killing someone by accident or even in self-defense is one thing. But killing an innocent just so he doesn't get in the way, that's out of the question. The captain scratches his head. You know you're probably right. I'm just getting too jumpy from all the shit we've been through. I'll soon be lashing out at people myself. Gotta let it go before some other nonsense gets in my head. Alright. How do I know which way the one dude went? I'm gonna hit this question mark. What's it do? Nothing. I wanna know if my people are dead dead. Oh, you can go to camp. That's kinda cool. 
Oh, she's right there, so she can't be dead dead, right? Squad management. Okay, so she's got a minor injury, but she's not dead dead. That's good. I... Injured squad? Alright, somebody leveled up. Thorn leveled up. Plus three to defense. Give him the walking ability, I guess. He can walk farther. <laughs> What's focus do? Requires 12 energy, increases your health by 12. That's kind of interesting. Excuse me. I think I'm gonna get accuracy with him. Oh, he didn't level up. Who leveled up? Somebody leveled up. Oh, it's flipped. You get this, uh. Hey. Oh my god, there's biography. We ain't reading that. We read enough of the biography when we did the other thing. Oh god, there's. Oh man, there's even more chat. Oh god. <laughs> Sitting all alone again, Brit. I hope you aren't shaking in your boots over what's to come. <laughs> Not at all, Captain. You can get used to anything, and I've grown accustomed to the fact that something's not right in this world. Besides, I'm hardly alone. I'm in good company. You didn't just come to ask how I'm feeling, though, did you? You're right. There's some, something else that left to discuss. Can't help but to point out that you're quite perceptive for your age. Always observant. Trying to get to the bottom of things. That's not just a talent, either. It's the result of your training. Where did you get your training? Apart from the Albius... Regiment. Couldn't remember all of it, even if I tried. I don't settle anywhere for long. The moment I learn my way around and make some progress, I get transferred elsewhere. Seems like Albius is the longest I've stayed in one place. Someone may be deliberately preparing you for something. Didn't you consider what? I've been entertaining the idea, even though maybe they want to mold me into some sort of spy. I mean, at the end of the day, I've, I'm best at making connections between what I see and what I know. I'm sure we'll put this town of yours to good use. Aren't you the son of some nobleman? No, Captain. Well, some bastard, maybe, but I never knew my father, but... I've been looked after for all my admittedly short life. They're always concerned about me. They help my mother and see to my education. However, I know neither my benefactor's name nor motives. And you never yearned to learn more? <laughs> of course I did, but either my teachers didn't know anything or got enough gold to keep mom about it. My benefactor also convinced my mom that I'd be better off in blitter, blissful ignorance. Quite a puzzle they left you. Hope that you managed to find the answer. Have any surprises in store for me? With a hint of a smile. Same as everyone else, Captain. I mean, our squad's full of peculiar characters, as if we've been gathered here by the gods for some greater purpose. Higher purpose. Agreed, everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses. Since you're so perceptive, mind telling me about my weaknesses? Cleta is your strength and your weakness. None of us come close to that. Something about her elevates her above most folk. I don't mean her looks either, so, but something on the inside, a kind of spark or a flame. I don't know how. I don't how to put it exactly. Huh. <laughs> you're right about that. Glad is also exceptionally stubborn. Also wanting it her own way. Got that from her mother, or maybe from me. I guess that's all I wanted to know. Did I get anything from that? Then allow me a question. Do you think we'll survive the reaping? 
I do. Otherwise, all this we do is pointless. I'll push forward with my own strength. Hope you'll do the same. I'll try. Sometimes I lack the necessary fortitude. Everywhere around me, I see signs of the end of the world as I know it. That's the end of the world. Oh my gosh. However, with you by my side, I'm seeing this in a different light. Captain, maybe my logic isn't as sound as... And we do have a chance. Whatever that may be. The head of confusion. Well, thanks for the kind word. If the kind, kind words, if that was your attention. I ain't even get anything for that. I ain't talking to these fools. Hell no. Waste of time. Psych. A grin glade, serpent creek, something something, narrow creek flowing through it disappears into the rocky hillside. Where's what's his face at? God dang it. In the distance, you see a loaded wagon pulled by six horses. Judging by the blades, the bales and crates tied to its hoof, it belongs to a wandering merchant. Though the armed guard is fit for a prince, you take a closer look and realize Mulace, a money cha changer from Albius. Say hello. Hello! I need to get some soda. My throat is dry and I'm dying. <laughs> You learn that he's decided to move to Ursus with his family and possessions. He'd move out before the bell rung so he knows nothing about the reaping. Inform the money changer of the value of Strixus. The money changer doesn't believe in the reaping or in the power of Strixus. Still, he decides to raise the prices just in case. You get no special discount. Shall I rob him? Eh, no. See what he's got. I got money. Is that Strix? Plus 300 gold per battle. That seems pretty good. I might get that. I guess I could kill him, but... It wouldn't be the right thing to do, I don't guess. See you later, man. Puelas and his guards see you off with a distrustful... Oh, Mulex and his guards see you off with a distrustful stare. But you soon leave the wagon far behind. I should have robbed him. What's going on over here? The Frisians invaded Barcana. Hordes of Northerners are already marching across the lands of the Five Kingdoms. Cool. I don't want to equip the stuff I just got so I can make sure I get my money for battle. Feel party. Hmm, that seems pretty interesting. I kind of want to do that. Yeah. Ah, oh, they got rid of their wounds and everything. That's awesome. Okay, so you only get so many chats in a segment, so I might as well do all the chats so I don't miss anything. God dang it. Don't you want to head your own way, say to Oda? Patoo! Ding! You mean to go to my wife? She's likely praying this misfortune... This misfortune takes me away. As for the children, they're too young to understand anything. You mean go to my... Oh. Do you remember the incident with the King of Odala? Do you mean the time he came to Albius in trouble and had a digestive trouble? You can't forget that in a lifetime. I had to walk around wearing your ceremonial caress. I had to make speeches. It was the most terrible day of my life. <laughs> yes, it wasn't a normal day. It was like a small reaping. 
That's true. When the king left, I went to the tavern. I ordered a jug of wine and drank it all down. I didn't get drunk at all. I don't remember anything after that, though. Man up, Krigger. If it gets too bad, set your jaw. Time is a river and carries away happiness and sorrow alike. You did your best as you could. You didn't cower in a hole trembling. I should have hidden, though. Would have been easier. I could have pretended to be a madman. You could still pretend. It's a kind of a way out. They'll ch they can chop you into pieces, though, just like they did with... Just like you did with the madmen. I don't recognize you, Krieger. I don't recognize myself either. I've looked for my something to inside to hold on to, but I've found nothing. My past is in ruins. Trouble like to say, don't grease my brains with silver. Do that to my palm. You should stop digging into your soul, undo your collar, and fill your scar around across your chest. Grinding up. I remember that winter march in Je to in the Jebanin Mountains. And that fellow from Oda stumbling into a bear's lair. And the way I hit the beast right in the face with my fist, it grazed me with a claw. Need you remind need you remind me how you saved my life. I must remind you how you saved the boy. Yes, I pulled him out of the lair, but I couldn't draw my sword. That's how the beast grabbed me. I hit him with my one free hand. You finished the beast off. That was a nice blow. It was a three-year-old, not a big one, but he went down. I can't imagine how much it hurt if you hit me. I should forget about the regiment. With hope. That's all that keeps me going. I ran from Albius for a reason. Isn't that right, Thorn? I was saving my lads. I mean, Flit, Sop, Hold, Brit. You're, they're my regiment, right? The others simply went mad. They weren't mad, Krieger. The reaping turned them into animals. Perhaps they came to their senses, but you did everything right. You shouldn't have stayed in the city. I don't know about that now. Barricading ourselves in our houses could have been the right thing to do, but who knows? Maybe Albius has already burned to the ground. Whatever happened next, you did everything right. Maybe it burned out. You have three rooms in the barracks and I have one home. Think about those four lads. Even one of them is a sufficient excuse. I don't want to make any excuses, Zorn. I also don't want honor or glory. One thing could warm my spirits. People waiting for me, hoping that I'm alive and well. Well, alive at least. Better go to sleep, Krieger. Maybe there's something else you know. There's something moving inside me. A terrible thing. Or maybe I'm terrible. I want to take a sword and stab everyone. Or maybe myself. Maybe the madness is taking its toll. I think that everyone was affected. Even the plague recoiled from our strixes. Don't attack anyone. Keep it together, friend. I don't need the trouble of having to watch you. Ah. Need some alcohol to drink the throat pain away from all this reading. Jesus. Whew. Hey, friend, have you found a manuscript even here? I picked it up near the gate of Alpius. I've already read it. It's the history of Fr Frisia. Nothing interesting. So, what do they have to say about Frisia? The same. The Three Kingdoms, Gordon, Gordan, and Ig Ingordin. There are noblemen and even royal houses, but the Temple of Divine's wrath power, it, Wrath's power is nearly infinite. Here there are no true kings in Frisia. Yes, for the last 700 years, after the demise of all three kings at the Drowsy Deep, dukes ruled the country. No one has been crowned. I heard that the crowns are kept at the altar of the Temple of Divine Wrath. Why didn't you stay in Oda? Are you asking me for why I left the archives again? I really wanted to become a warrior. I still do, but it's a different kind of choice. Not whether to be a scribe or a warrior. More about being a warrior scribe, not a weakling scribe. 
What did your father think about that? He was a royal scribe. You said so yourself. Too bad I'd never visited the royal archives of Oda. No one would have let me inside anyway. He'd be happy to see you, Thor. See you, Thorn. You're the reason he sent me here. I can tell you, he wasn't always a royal scribe. He sailed with you to the Vale as an ordinary seaman. Seaman. <laughs> That's why I had the feeling that we met before. Yes, my father and I are like two peas in a pod. He's gone completely gray, though. He was a ginger once. His name was Flit, like yours. A bit younger, everyone saw him as a boy. You shall give him my deepest gratitude if you can. He sent you his gratitude. Well, actually, he did a year ago. Is he dead? What are your plans after the reaping? For after the reaping flit. No matter how hard I think about it, it seems I have almost no chance of surviving this reaping. Not because I want to, won't run for the hills or, and hide. It's because I'm not a hero, Thorn. Only heroes survive. Oh my god, he's raising death flags. Damn it, dude. You're wrong, Flit. You're wrong! You are a hero! What is it then? Aren't heroes the ones overcoming adversities and escaping battles unharmed? Or recover from their wounds and bathe in glory? Only these kinds of stories are written in the books. What happens in real life? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hero dies. Heroes die even more often. Only the lucky survive. It doesn't matter if they fight bravely or hide in ditches. Whatever you say, Thorn. I will accept it. You should put the reading aside and rest. Hide in the manuscript. I might erase the scribbles and start describing our journey. Maybe... A way to leave a mark behind for the future generations. Just try to avoid leaving a mark with your blood, Flit. Nice one, Thorn. It's hard to joke about death, but you're quite good at it. Alright, we did all the talking. Great. Good job, us. Alright, we only got one choice. A roundabout way along gravel rock slides and sharp cliffs. Alright. Ooh. A lone horseman comes into the sight of the outskirts of Denver Village. His horse barely trudges along. It looks like it galloped without rest. The rider just is exhausted. Doesn't doesn't notice you until you catch up to him. Krieger raises himself in the stirrups, glares at the traveler, and shouts, Well, if it is a ramblin', wait, you knucklehead, you. Don't you recognize your commander? Taken aback, the lad hunches his shoulders, but then a sigh in relief when he recognizes Krieger. Hello, Captain Krieger. What brings you here? I'm on my way home. Not that far off, in fact. Krieger squints to scan the nearby horse houses. Your village isn't going anywhere, and your horse needs to rest some anyhow. You'll ride that poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get, bo get off it before it crunches you, crushes you. Ramblin gets off his horse and the exhausted animal collapses. You give the young guard a scornful glance and dismount in order to talk to him. Catch your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now tell me one thing. We passed a dozen hamlets yesterday, but didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? I don't know. I didn't stop by any hamlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. Why did you abandon your post at the tower? We've spoken to Stein already. He told us about the great creature, about you taking, breaking the gate, and about the t crazy toll collector, too. We want to hear your side of the story. So, the toll collector went mad, but Stein's alright? Gods be praised. I was so afraid to go back because I thought the two of them might kill me. What now? Do I have to go back to the watchtower? Go visit your grandma first. It's not too far. You'll manage on foot. Consider it a short leave from Stein. Tell me, why didn't you go to Albius for help? Give me one second. Damn it. I was so shaken with fright, I chose the familiar path to my home village without thinking. When I came to my senses, it was easier to keep going. My grandma's a great healer. Maybe she'll help me with the mark on my neck, and if she can, the men hurts nearby. 
So the plague's gotten to you too? I doubt a village healer can cure it. Go straight to the Minher after you visit your grandma. It's safer that way. We don't have a spare horse, so you'll have to walk like Krieger suggested. Did you notice anything strange on your way? The footprints, maybe. Lots of them. Looks like a party on horseback. Larger than yours. I didn't see them, though. Even though I rode without rest. But my guess is that they're heading for the Minher. We noticed that, too. I can't imagine what company this could be. It's too big for Burkhan and patrol. Could, could it be bandits? I hope they don't find their way into your village. Never seen any bandits in these parts. We're not rich, which... And there are several bows and lances in every home. They'd lose more than they'd gain. There's also a watch around the Minhur, and they would come to our aid. Alright, we'll deal with those mysterious horsemen later. How did you ever manage to ride for so long? Well, I know a sort of incantation bucks you up a bit. Learned it from my grandma. She's one of the vandals. They know their stuff. Can you buck us up? Not yet. Too tired. Besides, I'm a bit of a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled, and she's also got special powders and poultices. We'll definitely see your grandma on the way back. I hope she sells us some potions to keep us healthy. We have to set out. Yes, of course. I'll drop by my grandma's and then head to the Minhur. I suppose I'll return to Stein afterwards. Don't think me a deserter, Captain. Just go already. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma and return to the watchtower. We are too preoccupied to care. Hey, our horses are going. You pass a village, its empty sheaths strike you as odd. A feeling of foreboding sets in, but you shrug it off. Right now, your only goal is to mend her. Everything else comes second. I was looking for what's his face, not the mend her. Ram, whatever that dude's name was. The villagers must have gathered near the sacred stone, Flit says. It's a holiday, after all. You agree. Relieved, even. Relieved indeed, villages near the Minhurs traditionally hold spring festivals. Lost in thought, you don't immediately notice someone addressing you. Flick calls to you again, pointing to the road. There's something smoking there. A scavenger circled the black plumes. You slow down to take a closer look. Dead people everywhere. Ah, yes. Good old battlefield with all the dead peoples. Classic. There they are. We found them. Now are we gonna find what actually killed them or? Oh, this is going on. I'm gonna go blow my nose. Heaps of corpses, corpses sit in the middle of the road. So many bodies, women and men and women, old and young, even children. There's a scaffold and some spears sticking out of the ground. The smell of blood makes you lightheaded. You trot closer, pulling back the reins of your horse. Scorched and turned asunder, these people died without making a sound. Their most cho mouths choked with dirt. Severed limbs lie nearby. You turn around, slowly Gelda stands nearby, clutching the hilt of her sword. The others stand back for, stand further back, frozen in place. Fetta sobs, she's petrified, unable to get a word out, feeling sick. She runs off on stiff legs. You order your men to help Gleda and keep their distance. A low whimper draws your attention. You notice a pregnant woman struggling under the corpses. She suffered severe mutilation and won't last long without aid. Try to help. You wade through the coat corpses and pull the woman out from under the pile. Your companions come to your aid. Your group lacks a healer and it's pointless to return to the village. These corpses are all that's left of it. Seems you'll have to bring this woman to the Minher. Hey. Maybe we can save her. I don't know if we will be able to, but we can try. What's this big tower thing over here? Big rock. Is this the Minher? 
You stop the company at the bridge. Suspicious figure standing on the other side. The watchman's body is hanging nearby, close to the blood soaked men her. Flick grows pale. Grows pale. Aren't they incies? The old chronicle calls them abominations. I've read they wield enchanted blades that can fly. Reap time is upon us. You draw your sword. They've noticed us. Be on your guard. These aren't fools they've gathered near the bridge. We've, we'll have to dismount. Don't swarm a narrow path like this. You'll only get in each other's way. Gleda looks after the wounded girl. You order some of your companions to get to the bridge and the others to guard the rear. Feels as if the NCs want you to guard on the bridge so they can bring it down. Boy, I got archers. We will shoot you from across that dang bridge. Gleda's not in this fight. So we'll use... Oh god, Hode? Alright, Hode. I guess we'll see what you can do. Bring it, heathens. Watch them just straight up wreck me. That'd be awful. Oh, I got my turn. That's what. Duh. Ow. Okay, he needs to get his cooldowns up, so we'll just shoot him with him, I think. Is this a three wide bridge or a two wide bridge? Just a question. Two wide. Ah, they can't do anything. Sick. Yeah, this bridge kind of sucks, to be honest. But it's a good thing we have double the archers. Hopefully they don't have any, like, super archer shooting people. Oh, I got him this turn. My bad. That's why they didn't do anything. Oh. Wish you could move the screen with your arrow keys, but that's not an option, unfortunately. Hopefully that guy doesn't just like run up and chuck a spear at my dudes, that would really suck. <laughs> really suck. Can we kill him? I think we can. Yeah. One down. Let's go. Yeah. Take that, punk. He's doing something weird over there, healing people or something. Surround him! Surround him and beat his ass! <laughs> it's the ultimate strategy. Ow, you retaliated. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 Archer bitch. I didn't know y'all had archer skills, too. Uh-oh. 
Ow! What the f- Alright, dude. Gotta be careful, my archer, he's hurting. They keep doing that crap. It's not cool. What? Hey, another one bites the dust. We ain't lost anybody yet, so that's good. Do I have any good cards here? Excuse me. I feel like my cards kind of suck compared to what I had in my actual game. Oh wait, I could... S no. I was about to say, do I get to still go? <laughs> yeah. This bridge is annoying, to be honest, because I can't get this guy up to hit anybody. Alright, so now we just gotta move these people out of the way. Kill this dude, hopefully. Ah, uh, retaliate. I keep forgetting my retaliate. Ow. Yeah, that's one thing I hate about this mode compared to the multiplayer mode is once you kill their dudes, instead of there being like an actual penalty, they just keep spamming their abilities with the same people over and over again. So they always get a turn. You can't like reduce it. That's kind of lame. But, whatever. Yeah, take that. Uh, it's your turn due to your super assassin attack that I hope does like a billion damage. Ah, uh, I don't think that's worth actually. He will die. That actually kind of sucks. Yeah, that was actually really useless to be honest with you. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to... Hmm. I guess I'll hit with him anyways, but even though I know he's going to get counterattacked, which kind of sucks, but screw it. For some reason... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, he re-healed, but no. Stop healing him, you dick. you die or not why don't why can't you use this yet you don't have the energy or not enough health or what or is it because I'm not close enough let's move up no no don't shoot the ground that's not what I want Uh 
Alright, let's see him use like a spell card to kill my 1 HP dude. <laughs> Here it comes. No! No! Oh, hey, nice. Well, you screwed the pooch on that one, didn't you? Yay, we won. No casualties. Flawless victory. Seems like you get tricks pretty easily, which is nice, I guess. That's pretty sick. You notice Ramblin' on the bridge. His, he totters along, eyes lifeless. You know the horrors he's seen and want to approach him, but Gelda beats you to it. Ramblin' hugs her and starts crying, nearly choking on his tears. You can't bring yourself to interrupt them. Glenda tries to calm him down. While you listen to his jumbled account of what happened in the empty village, judged by the empty blood stain, by the blood stains, some of the bodies were thrown in the river, and some, he, and some, he goes silent. You turn it your attention to the men her. Dang, son. They killed everyone. Feels bad. Alright. Let's talk to Ramblin' first. Our morale is always low. <laughs> Our morale sucks. They killed everyone in the village. Some were thrown in the rivers. Others, well, you saw the corpses along the road. Even people from the neighboring hamlets. Why do those these bastards do this? Why did these why do these bastards do this? I don't know. Seems like they savor pain and death. In any case, we purged this place of abominations. And we're kill any more than than we find. Any more of them we find. I'm gonna correct myself. Dang it. My grandmother thought I might be. I was wizard material. She even gave me her amulet. Let me come with you, Thorn. I don't want to be a wizard. I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take this amulet, please. I'm not taking the locket. You take the locket. Looking at the locket, some battles are won by sorcerers, not swordsmen. Though wielders of magic are warriors too, in a sense. Your grandmother's amulet is strict and crusted. That explains a lot. Keep it. Now, if you're ready to fight and follow my orders, you can come with us. Anything else you want to say? Loyalty increased Ramblin. Listening nervously, Ramblin opens his purse. Hand shaking and gives you several magic cards. Thank gosh. How did you come by magic cards? They're heavy like lead and hot to the touch and you say you don't want to be a wizard? These cards belong to my grandmother. I played with them when I was little. She said that if they got heavier, it'd, be, it'd mean playtime was over and something bad was brewing. I want to give them to you. You're my senior. You should use them. you even realize what they are? What's there to realize? Grandmother said that these cards were aid those who wish to use magic or shield themselves from it, but have no shaman shamanic power of their own. They're Kimran, and the Kimra themselves are said to be descended from those abominations. Examining the cards, I've heard of them. Wasn't expecting that they suddenly gain power. I want a couple myself. Who could have guessed that the ancient trinkets would be of use? The reaping started, Thorn. What used to be superstition and legend is now manifesting through magic. You must have noticed that some items are displaying special properties. The cards are no exception. What use are your cards? You can normally figure out what a card does by the picture. They're not for wizards, remember? They're for those deprived of such power. Such So each carries a clue. Easy as falling off a horse. Grip the card tightly and see your... And use your will to direct his power. They're useful, no arguing that. But I'm more at ease with the sword on my hip. You must, you can't scatter an enemy with a hand of cards. Who knows? I'm never used them myself, but it's possible that a card might be a trump, might trump a weapon. Everyone can use them. It's worth remembering. Why are some broken? 
They're not broken, just incomplete. I remember when my grandmother got a hold of a handful of shards. She assembled them into her pictures, and then sh the shards sort of glued themselves together. Do you suggest I hunt for these shards everywhere I go? It's up to you. People have always collected fragments of these cards, even though they have no idea of their true value, using them as amulets and souvenirs. That's why you'll find many merchants selling them. Same with the items with which contain Strixes. Thank you, but it's time we left. Take care with these cards. Anyone can use them. Sometimes it's better to rely on a weapon instead of standing around waiting for something magical to happen. Just expect you to do more than just stand there. You can cast proper spells to do it, and thank you for the plaques. I have a feeling we'll need them. Loyalty increased for Amblin. Well, you can count on me, and make haste. There's something strange and evil emanating, emanating from the men here. I wouldn't tarry. Six to receive five. You watch Remlin and go and notice the commotion near the wounded woman. Gladys stops you as you run. She's giving birth, Dad. Chasing them all, all off and let... Chase them all off and let Ramblin do this thing. Do his thing. Seems like he's the only one that knows what to do. Everyone runs around looking for clean water and rags. You don't remember feeling such a pressure even when commanding a company of soldiers. After all the effort, you're finally rewarded with a baby's cry. Glad it looks at you wonder woefully. The baby's safe, but we couldn't help the mother. She's gone through too much. I'll search the supplies of the watch. Maybe I can find some milk. But we need to find a safe place for the baby. We shouldn't delay. Survivor. The monk achievement. Springing up. Hold, you mustn't. The abomination has corrupted the sacred stone. It brings only death now. I saw people die after touching the minher. The last captives were dragged atop the stone by those Enzies. Curses. So that's why they soaked it in blood. Damn witchery. Pieces of shit. Thanks for the warning in any case. And why in minum are you just sitting here there? Aren't you glad to be saved? Honestly, I can't even stand right straight. I have g had already given up hope, but I'm truly grateful. Make no mistake. My name is Vi. I am a wandering monk. My prayers to the gods will now be on your behalf from now on. In every temple in Bukana. My name is Thorn Bar Brendan. I'm a retired captain of the guard. You'll meet the others later. Before you go back to praying, tell me what happened here. How did they let you alive? <laughs> The abominations didn't kill all the villagers right away. Some were captured and forced to dig a mass grave until it came until it came their turn to die. The men here were showered in blood. I'm all that remains. Why'd they need a grave? They didn't bury they, those they slaughtered on the other side of the bridge. I have no idea. I think they just wanted to torture us for as long as they could. They made it as painful as horrifying and horrifying as possible. Those fiends putting in so many to the sword in all in a single day in the grave. We'll have to make use of it, I'm afraid. How did the watch manage to miss a whole mob of adversaries and captives? There were too many of them. First it was the cavalry. We didn't know what, what hit us. And then we heard cries from the other side of the bridge. Even more abominations. Some of them lacked mounts and stayed behind. The others rode away. So that's what those prints were. The go gods truly saved our necks. We could have just as easily ran into them on our way here. You mentioned the captives. What happened to them? I saw, I heard screams and saw smoke rising. All dead. None of them were spared. Not children nor the elders. Show me your neck. Are there marks on it? So this plague's gotten to you too. Let me tell you something. You know those rare gems called Strixes? They fried off the corruption, but only for a time until they burn out. We've heard about it already. Thanks anyways. So how did you come across the Strixes and learn of their properties? I meant to meet with the abbot in one of the temple libraries, then a scroll about the reaping caught my eye. Usually no one reads them. I mean, it's just legend, and I've got a Strix in my beads. In old tradition, all of us wandering monks wear them. Vi, you're the luckiest person I've ever met. The gods must be keeping you alive for some higher purpose. You've already told me what I needed to know. And what will you do now? 
We'll just have to try another Minher. The NCs couldn't have smeared blood on all of them, could they? There's a Minher on the way to Ursus with a small stockade around it. Perhaps the Watchmen there would will be able to beat the Abominations back. Let me come with you. I have to get to the temple in Ursus and tell the abbot what I've seen. At least I won't be alone for half the journey if I jump and join your company. Well, I can't just leave you alone now, can I? Just know that you must obey my every order without question if you wish to stay with us. Also, it would seem that they've left a couple of horses. How nice of them. Whew. More Strixes. Let's go. Watchtower. That was a good time to tidy up and give orders. Might be training outside, to be honest. For... And then... Rambling, I don't know if I'm gonna put you in there or not, to be honest. Warlock. Uh, I could actually put him in place of Brett. There we go. I'll still do the level ups just in case. Yeah, he don't seem too good actually. So did I get any new cards, like actual cards, or nah? I don't think I did. Oh, deck. There we go. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna put Drain in here, because that's actually a really good ability, unlike some of these. Alright, that's good enough. Barrel near Minher. You decide against burying the bodies by the road. At least you've fallen beside the Minher and have found a common grave. With no bit further business here, you prepare to depart. You notice Gleda is deep in thought. Before you can go say a word, Gleda speaks up. Dad, why didn't you let me go to on the bridge? Dad, am I a bad fighter? Or were you going easy on me during training? You feign surprise. And who else would care for the wounded? Our men are, aren't exactly a nurturing bunch, so I will put my trust in you. And judging by how you handle childbirth, I will handle how you handle childbirth. I wasn't completely, I wasn't wrong to do so. And for going easy on you during training, that's complete and utter nonsense. Call Brett. You turn to the lad. He nods agreeably. Lord Britton never singles anyone out, but he really had it out for you, Gleda. Maybe that's why you're better than most. You could tell that Gleda is taken aback by the praise and decides to seize the moment. Grab your stuff, all of you. The child's going with you. Gleda, there's a squad of NCs prowling about, so you get back in those saddles, everyone. Make haste. All right. In enemy territory, a camp chapter two. Gives warmth, but the cold gives protection. Shadow Clan's code for warriors of peace.
Year 1002 since divine retribution. Thank God. Spring Equinox. Kingdom of Frisia. The city of Voden. A procession approaches the city. Hundreds. No. Thousands. Walk to Voden. Shackled and closely guarded. You observe the surroundings from a tall rampart. It is your job to foresee any threats, especially those w and uh, especially those another might overlook. Something menacing in the air is in the air. It must have done, must have, might have something to do with the prisoners. Reading is so freaking hard. Definitely when you're drinking and <laughs> your voice is tired. You are a bodyguard of the highest rank, a warrior of the Shadow Clan. Your client, Count Pelko Sutri, Soturi. Shows you off like a golden belt buckle. It makes no difference to you. In the end, you are loyal to your clan. The streets are full of gawkers, city dwellers, and villagers who brought the whole families, their whole families, to the festival. However, temple inquisitors, n no mere internet entertainers, itinerant int entertainers preside over the ceremonies. They offer a special kind of entertainment. There will be executions and torture to commemorate the spring equinox. This time, there will be an astonishing number of victims. The city will drown in blood. Weird. I'll be right back. I gotta clear my throat. What is going on? Your client is meeting at the important temple servant. You should stay close. A tall temple servant is commanding the guardsmen. Many in the crowd whisper his name. Nakoma. Count Pelko Sutri approaches him. Arms wide open. Finally, you're here. How was the journey, your holiness? What news? Would you like to rest or begin the festivities immediately? Have you considered my request? Sheath your sword before I get yelled at. Reminded of your presence, by the clanging of your sword, the Count breaks into a satisfied grin. No need to fret, Count. The Third Legion is already on the march. You should let fate do the work when considering the command of three legions. Other commanders might suffer from falling sickness, or their tents could be attacked by bandits. Do you follow me? Does the temple permit such tricks of fortune? And how should I pursue a fate such as this? Will the temple advise me? <coughs> the temple of divine wrath only steals anger, so heed my advice. Listen then. Lowering his voice, if the Econs are the, as depth as they say, then here is your solution. Your bodyguard will do anything you wish, if, unless of course it's not in his contract. Everyone knows that I have it in the Econ in my service. They'll know it was me. Besides, I do not want to lose a bodyguard of this caliber. They say an Econ is worth 50 Frisian soldiers. Money-wise, that's certainly true. Your Econ can bring you your three legions more easily than a servant bringing a chamber pot. Test him if you doubt him. I like this sort of entertainment. If your bodyguard slays, say, a dozen or two Frisian soldiers, I'll turn a blind eye. You are absolutely still. A premonition touches you like a breeze, but your inner peace is undisturbed. You are always ready for whatever may happen. Lofeng, stay here. I need to speak with His Holiness in private. Worry not. I'll be safe in Nakama's company. Meanwhile, make sure that everything is in order. Excuse me. Nod. A satisfied grin blooms across the cow's face. He has interrupt, interpreted your nod as a bow, it seems. This day last year, two murderers were tortured to the death to death in the city square. This year brings many more victims, but they look nothing like murderers. 
prisoners. Haggard, foul-smelling prisoners are pressed against a wall. The red-haired girl does not look t traumatized, though she certainly is. A guardsman drags... I guess a guardsman drag a scrawny old man from the crown. You lose sight of her for a moment. More women stand beside the, behind the red-haired girl, but she alone watches you. You remain calm and impassive, even when she calls out to you in Ikon. Akon. The red-haired girl is definitely not Akon. If she were, you would have been forced to abandon your service and save your kin. Nothing else can interfere with your service to Pelko Satori, who pays you well. Hey, warrior. My name is Reet. Can you tell Phil what's happening? Is it not time you remembered your duty? You may silent. Your inner peace is absolute. Open your eyes. The temple servant is not human. It's a reaper in human form. So what? Think of the law of the clan. If a reaping begins, you shall serve your clan only. You should fight the reapers wherever they appear. The law of the shadow clan binds you to oppose the reaping and the reapers. Do you remember your duty? No one understands what the red prisoner is screaming about, but the guardsmen dare not shut her up. Akama's eyes are daggers. She knows something she should not. Still, none can foretell a reaping. You do not have to believe me, but today is the day. The reaping is nigh. What makes you think so? Innocent people will be led to slaughter today. Is this Frisian's rule? Frisia is cruel. I'm not surprised, but it's not my concern. How do you know the law? Does it matter who speaks the truth if the truth is spoken? You are too young to lecture me. No one can foretell the reaping. You are a warrior of peace, are you not, Elkin? Yes, I can read your face. Look closer at Nakoma and fill life for he's beneath his feet. He's a reaper, brimming with power. I have the sight to see this. A seeress would not allow herself to be captured. I heard your words. You may think me foolish, but please be vigilant. To your client, you're just fodder, much like us. You remain silent. The warrior's code of the Shadow Clan prescribes inner calm. Otherwise, you are useless. They receive substantial sums of money from Count Pelko Satori. You turn around to find Nakoma staring at you with a contemptuous grin. He gives a sign. Your screams and choice swear words behind your back. The guards have picked up the girl, Reet, and are carrying her to the dais. The temple servant watches you closely. Oh, there she is right there. That's kind of cool. Executioner. It seems that the ungaily fellow's fellow is the executioner. He is a, in conversation with an old inquisitor, clad in black robes, bearing the sign of the temple. The old man appears to outrank him, but the executioner will preside over the coming festivities nonetheless. The executioner checks the steel box protruding from the wall and then look, looks into a tin box. Oh, good damnation, why did we drive this herd to Wodan? You can only hang ten people at a time here. Do you mean to drive the rest of them back? The older man rummages through a carriage bag. Carapace bag. Did you plug your ears when I went over the details? We slaughter a dozen, maybe two dozen here. The rest we drive further. We're l working for a grand cause, Mel. The eyes, by the way, do not forget the ears. Peek into Mel's box. You sneak a peek under the lid of the executioner's box. Knives, hooks, pincers, tongs, and steel spikes glisten ominously. The owner of these instruments clearly enjoys his work. Mel giggles. I remember your collection. What should I cut off that's different? Nose, perhaps? As for the grand cause, I'm happier arranging smaller affairs. Smaller and sweeter. Ogren laughs. Don't tell me, I saw you drool slicing a winch from breast to crotch just to see her gut spills. Just wait for it, you'll soon have your way. We'll slay them by the hundreds. Mel blissfully closes his eyes. So, all this talk about opulent Burkana is not just gossip. It's a long way to go. Maybe, many won't make it. Still, there's not like fresh meat. 
Mel rubs his hands together. You wonder why anyone would drive prisoners towards war. Something, something, something. One moment. In this case, I need another shot. <laughs> Gosh. I haven't died yet, but I'm just, uh, my voice is so starting to hurt. Weak. Before you can approach the old man, the coma beats you to the punch. Yet, Wodan is an ancient fortress. If you stand in the square at a specific spot, conversations can be heard at a distance. The coma nods in your direction. Did you ever torture a man from the Shadow Clan? Burn him with hot irons? Cut his sinews? They say these men feel no pain. The Inquisitor shrugs. Aircons are not really human, rumor has it. You can cut a child in pieces in front of a warrior, an Akon, and he, unless he was hired to protect that child, a warrior of the Shadow Clan won't as much, so much as blink. It is said that they have no hearts. Main Serene. The comma meets your eye, but you look right through him into the void. The old man coughs. I have a heart, your holiness. On occasion, it even aches a bit. When you've lived as long as I, yours will, yours will too. What do you think? Will we defeat Burkana this time? The comma pants, pats the old man on the shoulder. Soon you will shall see everything for yourself. All we need to do is spill some blood. A great deal of blood in the proper place. Wodan is only the beginning, Ogren. I wish there were more battles in this game and less, like, story. There's a lot of story going on here. You stand behind, beside Pelko Satori. He's unfazed by the muffled howl of the prisoners, the grumbling of the crowd, or the smoke from the executioner's preserve. In fact, he is almost triumphant. What will you do, Lo Fang, knowing that the Frisian official plots my death? What if he plans to send assassins after me? You know the answer. I know nothing. There are two officials fighting for command of the Legion, entrusted to me by the temple. They'll be at each other's throats once I'm dead, but that's not exactly comforting now, is it? The legions are already on the march, but neither commander has joined them yet. One of them just passed through the Jellian Tunnel. The other is a bit ahead of them. Their entourage is not numerous. You will manage. May I return once I am done? Are you worried about the contract? Fear not, you're carrying out my orders. I want to test you first. There's a wench who dared scare his, scorn his holiness. The red-haired scum, red scum mocked him all the way to Wodea. Kill her, and I, if I become the commander of leg three legions, I will double your pay. For an Akon, a client's word is like law, even if the client breaks the law. But I'm no executioner. I shall slay anyone to simply kill you, however many they are, but I am not an executioner. Cunningly narrowing his eyes. Well, I can't remember this. Pelko Satori always gets what he wants, regardless of what's written in some contract you see. Frisians are cunning. They pay their son pay the sons of the Shadow Clan handsomely for their servants services, but they easily go back on their word. You expect it, you are ready for them. But as a tortured red haired ass, are you ready for the truth? Silence falls over the square. The spread eagled wretches on the wall freeze in anticipation of their dreadful fates. The sa only sound are the clinking of the executioner's instruments being laid on the bench and the flapping of banners over the burgomaster's head. Watch the executioner. Mel picks up a couple of metal hooks and chooses his first victim from the prisoners hanging on the wall. Reese slips move, as if whispering an incantation. Mel slowly rips through the old man's concave stomach. The man yelps, then he droops in the straps. Reet begins to sing. She weaves a temple hand, making rich and poor alike bare their heads. Her voice peals across the square, resonating as if under a vaulted 
ceiling. Everyone stands transfixed by the, transfixed by the melody, moved to tears, searching for something within themselves. Look around for Nakoma. You do not see a Nakoma anywhere, but you sense that he's nearby. Guardsmen's helmets are removed, sharp blades are lowered, prisoners and onlookers weep uncontrollably. You know that a temple service cannot end in an execution. It is forbidden, and as this thought forms, a reaper appears. Something resembling a bloated gray corpse with a greasy black mane emerges from the yard in front of the gate, he moves toward the day dies, determined to end the song. You draw your sword. Bring it, fool. Maybe I should just bum rush him. Maybe that's the play. Is that what I'm messing up on? Am I trying to kill the soldiers too much and not bum rushing them? Whatever. I'm gonna bum rush him. It's the only thing I could think of to win this. Oh, I didn't use my cloud tower thing. Oh, I goofed. These guys are just getting like immediately out of range of where I want to hit them at. I don't know what to do here. I'm just going to try to kill this dude. Hope it works out. That's the only thing I can think of, dude. <laughs> Why won't you die? He's gonna have to get melee range to hit me right now. I think this is working because even if he hits me, I'm reducing his attack to one, so I should be alright, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Genius. Uh oh. Forgot about the archers again. I keep forgetting about those son of bitches. Wow. Million damage. Oh no, that wasn't too bad, actually. He dies next turn, for sure. Alright, finish him. Oh wait, it only does health damage. That sucks. I just want to see how much damage he does with his attack reduced over many turns. Ah, uh, eight. Oh, he died though, so that's kind of cool. So they're still not lined up in a way where I can kill them all, which kind of sucks. This sucks. I don't know how to win this <laughs> at all. <laughs> He 
He's about to shoot me for a billion damage. And he killed himself. Why am I just, oh, I'm so confused. If it told me who was going to attack next, this would be like so doable. Do I have like a heal or something? Gracious. I think we're done screwed. If I could just get my health back some way. I killed him somehow. That was cool, I guess. Bro, I have no idea how you're supposed to win this. This is insane. I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe I do have to just come up and beat his ass. I don't know, dude. That might be what I have to do. Fuck it. It's the only thing I could think of. Cloud Tower first. I don't know, man. Oh, he instantly punched me back. Well, that was a fuck. I fucked that up. Oh, what the fuck? Why'd they all die this time? But the other time they- What? What? I already did that and they didn't all die. Like, what the fuck? Alright, cool, I guess. That sucked, dude. Because, like, I did that. I killed him one time and, like, none of the other people died. Weird. Alright, cool. 
Killed by your blow, the monster turns into a wisp of fog. A sacred strix sets into the steel of your blade, sizzles, and burns out. The mystery is solved. This is what made the Von Reaper vulnerable. A strange weakness washes over you, making you stagger. Did the monster curse you? Uh, your eyes meets re meet Reets. She has a hard cut on... She has been a hard nut to crack. Two swings of the sword is enough to cut the ropes binding her. The moment you set her free, she rushes to the other prisoners. What follows is not your responsibility. Your road leads to the Isle of Shadows now. But first, you need to overcome the strange weakness. Many generations of warriors live their lives knowing that if a reaper comes, they will have to oppose the reapers. Whoever cuts even one of the, them down should bring news of it to the Shadow Clan. Your service to Pelko Satori is over. In the first days of the great disaster, you uh, rushed chapter to three. a backwater town on the edge of a that was awful. kingdom. This time, it seems the dice rolling on the game board will be carved out of your bones. You'd hurried like never before, leaving ravines and mountains passes behind. Leaving ravines and mountain passes behind. Taking narrow pathways now buried by snow, yet you still didn't make it to Albius before the spring equinox. The towers of the city are nearly visible, and you can hear the ringing of the bell and the roaring of the Manaz River. Amma's prophecy guides you to the city of Albius on the outskirts of the kingdom of Aldala. What could this backwater Aldalan town have done to incur the gods' wrath? Wrath? Why Albius? There are dozens of other towns that look exactly like it. What is there some secret motive? You filled you're filled with an overwhelming sense of foreboding. The stench of death fills your nostrils. Everything is just as Amma predicted, except for one seeming seemingly impossible truth that at the moment only you know, a mortal has indeed resisted a reaper, both here in Albius and in a far, the faraway Frisian city of Wardan. Lord. You reach the town halls. The bell peals incessantly. Black smoke swirls overhead, and the stench of burning flesh fills your nostrils. Could it be a plague? Why are the guards of the gate wearing Juranian uniforms? This is still the Odolan kingdom. Vagabond. Damn it. Why is it never a damsel? Hey, Daydreamer, snap out of it. Do you have paperwork? All right, let's see. Looking through your papers, isn't it? Nice to meet you, Baron Ruley. Call me Mushum. I'm the commander here, and you, oh my, you're a healer and a baron. A scribe, too. What brings you, your grace all the way to Albius? Nothing, until you let me see the city. I'm no baron, either. Call me Hopper. You sound like a Jaren and commander. Oh, this matters, apparently. Kingdoms of Burkana are still peaceful, I hope. Shrugging you off. Of course, we're not attacking. We're helping a neighbor. The local burgomaster sent a carrier pigeon, so we... Wait, what business is it of yours? None whatsoever. It's just that I don't didn't know Dren and pigeons are so valuable that they'd be kept by the Burgomaster. What does this have to do with pigeons? Now I'm confused. The reaping has almost begun here. That makes no sense. Has the reaper begun or not? Can't you tell me what's going on? Why do I smell burning human flesh? Does it stink really? I don't smell a thing. Gotten used to it, I suppose. Gotten used to it? What took getting used to? Should I turn tail and run? Is there anywhere to hide? Anyhow, a monster appeared. It sealed the gate and used its what you call it? Magistery or sorcering? The folks in town started beating each other to a pulp. It wore, it all, it wore off just like too much drink does. That's when we came to the rescue. The nobles fear the plague, so we're burning the corpses. Almost everyone in town has ulcers on their necks. But the temple servants are applying some kind of ointment to reveal the, relieve the pain. It seems as though the reaper has, reaping has begun, but with a slower momentum. Mm -hmm. Stumbled, you say, taking its first step. I've examined various manuscripts, but nothing, none of them mention anything like this. 
Do you replace the bell ringer often? You don't like the tune? Don't bother me. I've gotten used to it. Or are you after the job? I'd consider it if the pay's decent, but I don't like the noise. Hasn't the bell ringer gone deaf yet? The locals say that if not ringing the bell, there have been more, many more corpses by now. Look, the ringing brought some of the crazies to their senses. Not instantly, but the sound broke through whatever was clouding their minds. As for the bell ringer, not my responsibility. Is it ringing by itself then? Well, never mind. No use trying to fill another shoes. Is, so is this a reaping or not? What else could it be? I can't be sure, but I trust my gut. The reaper, the plague, the signs, it all fits. Oh my, you've seen a reaper. Every ancient manuscript I've seen says that everyone collapses in the presence of a reaper. Manuscripts? What do I care of your manuscripts? When the reaper came, the townsfolk fell flat on their faces. Some passed out. But this one merchant was sharper than the others. He knows something. Do you think our detachment came coming here was a coincidence? That's a weird conversation. I admire your effort, Mushroom. You say you're a talker, but you really haven't said much. You've been listening intently this whole time, but I've got nothing to hide. I am what I am. A scribe, a book lover, and a healer. A jack of all trades, really. That's enough chit chat for now. I agree. I don't have all day. You're not a beautiful ass, so we're done chit chatting. Welcome to Albius. Why summon the guards? Did I offend you? Not with defenses as good as mine. Thing is, I have orders. If I were to see a scribe at the gate, I am to send them to Cardinal Coronazon. Coronazon? Well, why? Why? Well, that's none of my business. Did you say Coronazon? I used to know a man by that name. <laughs> if you're the Cardinal's good friend, you might have better luck than our prince. Those two didn't get along, you see. My men will escort you. Goodbye for now. Lord Almighty. That's the last story. What, we've done like four battles after three hours? Of the tragic events. Hmm. The reaping has indeed begun. You barely have enough time to look around as the guards briskly lead you to the town square. You arrive at the town hall with an escort of guards, one of them a tall, hulking man, stays behind as the others leave. He seizes you up, sizes you up, then points to the entrance of a nearby shop. He obviously wants you to go there. The ear-splitting peals of the bell make you wonder how the cardinal stands it. As you know, as you take in the town's hall, the guard takes stock of your horse. My name's Ake. He says, if Mushroom's got it right, you're Harper Rowley, a peculiar man, a book lover, healer, and baron. Yeah, let's talk to him, I guess. You face the giant warrior, smiling your friendliest smile. Sick. Why does your horse wait for you, you by the tent like a dog? Is it trained or something? Does it bark on command, too? <laughs> no bark, all bite. Keep that in mind. Are you considering getting one like it for yourself? No thanks. I like my horses sturdier. Still, yours is a funny one. How do you even manage to train it? You must not be short on patience. Look after her, Ake, and you shall see that I pay my debts. I haven't lent you a thing, and I'm not gonna. Your horse ain't going anywhere, and neither are you. You're not leaving this town until you've speaking, spoken to the Cardinal. He and the prince argued about that. Actually, Trigg's glum because the temple sees the right to expect all scribes and mages coming to the town. Cool. Fun. Speaking to himself, this... Trigg, the prince of Tirana. You don't look so worn out last time I saw you. What aggravates you so, your highness? The beginning of the reaping, or is it the incessant ringing of the town bell? 
Who are you? I've been told that a certain scribe has arrived in town. Would that be you? A healer and a wandering sorcerer with a license? Upper Ruler, your face looks familiar. Might we have met? We met in your palace, your highness, about three years ago. I had... I has just earned my scribe's license. You might need to go back and get another test I has just learned. God dang it. I spent a whole year going through your archives. I can't remember every single palace scribe. Now if you were a good swordsman, we could talk. I see that you do have a sword and a staff. Isn't that a bit much? What brings you to Albius? I don't know, man. The staff is for walking, the sword is for defense. Such are the times we live in. You either carry a sword or someone carries your head. As to why, I got worried that the reaping has almost conquered Albius. That's why I'm here. Oh, wait. That's why I'm here, your highness. What do you mean that's why you're here? You started piss yourself piss me off. Make yourself clear. Why in Terminum have you come to Alvius? Oh. It's hardly a secret, your highness. Just watching events unfold in the blessed lands of Burkana and writing it all down. I'm not so sure about Burkanian blessing. It looks more like a curse to me, but why Alvius specifically? A seeress told me that the reaping will begin right here, on the day of the vernal equinox. I was curious, you see, but co almost couldn't make it. I had to travel a long way. Thou averting his gaze from you. A seeress, was she by chance an attractive young lady or a crone with a soul freezing gaze? I find her beautiful, past her primes perhaps, but hardly old. Stumbled upon her in the Vale of Mercy, I didn't really believe her. It's better to see for oneself, so I just dropped by. Mm. The seeress was right. It's disappointing that she's so far away. I'd love to meet her. The reaping excites your curiosity, you say. You must be an expert on the subject. If you're as clever as your scribe as you scribes pretend to be, tell me. This was the bell ringing during the last reaping, and if it was, how did they stop it? Is there a clue clue in your scrolls about how to silence it? It did indeed toll, but differently, and for n not for days. I mean, how do you even keep this up? Anyway, stopping the bell is child's play. Just get the chimesman off the damn thing. Do you have any idea how many men I lost in the town hall? I don't need a scribbler. I don't need. S I need soldiers. So much for your usefulness. Go visit the cardinal and see if he can find you ought to do. All right. You can't avoid meeting the Cardinal, you just hope that it doesn't make a turn for worse. Oh my god, there's so much reading. Oh. It's like a visual novel. With very little combat. The Cardinal, it appears, has absurd Churlin's... Usurped Churlin's shop, or Rask's shop, to use his most recent name. Though this Cardinal takes anything he desires, and that bell absolutely is believing. So here you are, Blanche, and I, here I was, thinking not a single fly would come to this pile of dung. We have two flies now, including you, and once again, you're a Cardinal Coronson? So you're a vagabond again. They told me you now call yourself Hopper. I like Blanche better. I've always been amazed by your passion for changing names. Only Amma stayed Amma. You're coming here and it's no coincidence, is it? What else did she predict? Hmm. Enough with the pleasantries. I know you want something from me. Fanning surprise. What makes you think so? Can't I just want to chat with an old friend? Hmm. Oh, we're both on breath, but that doesn't make us friends. You knew I was brought to you yet you did send me away you need something spit it out well if that's your attitude then let us get to the heart of the matter it's not that simple a pet merchant named pet Patagang supposedly saw a woman of profound beauty before the reaping began but no one else did then he saw the retired captain of the Oldelin guard Thorn Brennan with his daughter they were talking to a reaper why should I care about a merchant's visions? Although Captain Thurn did pique my curiosity, it looks like he's the man I need. 
Why would a reaper converse with myrtle mortals, I wonder? I don't know. Thern's wife died first. He took his daughter and a couple soldiers and they scurried away. However, one of those soldiers turned out to be Prince Trig's son. And that numbskull of a prince convinced himself that his son could only be saved by the scribe who stops the ringing of the town hall bell. Is the young prince in need of rescue? The order is sentenced to death. A reaper left his mark on the town gate and our dear Cherlin broke it down when he escaped. The obvious guard men were clearly a bit traumatized. Then Thorn goes and hacks it, them all to pieces. Trigg's worried about his son and he wants blood. I care not for the prince, but I would like to find Thorn and talk to him, although I don't care for his possible execution either. And Prince Trigg will not take me seriously as a scribe anymore, so I can't promise I'll be of any help. Sort of where there is a prince or Prince and his squad of soldiers. Should I care? I don't give a damn about the prince. One of Thorne's companions is his bodyguard, some lad called Sop. His head will be removed from his soldier the moment any harm comes to the prince, and he knows it. He'll go to great lengths to prevent that. Thorne is much more inquisitive. So this stubborn captain piqued your interest as well. You think he'd fall at your feet if you appeared before him as a reaper? Well, who knows? Thorn will race from Minher to Minher until he realizes that the reaping has corrupted them all. He's already visited the first nearby one, even tangled with some entities there. I don't know where he's headed. The next Minher can be found on the outskirts of Yersus. Entities are dangerous foes. Thorn's able to go toe to toe with them. He didn't earn the rank of captain for nothing. There's hope he still lives. Bringing, being accompanied by such a commander will keep the prince much safer too. So confused by the story. You still have not explained to me what it is you, that you need. I want you to stop that incessant bell. It's not just Albius that's being affected by the magic. The bell tolls all through Burkana now. All by themselves. Not a chimesman in sight. All because of this one here. The Reaper didn't appear anywhere else but here. Why should I care, Cor Corona's on? I'm not unraveling someone else's enchantment. I need this body, and I've got enough problems as it is. I'll do without your help. Maybe you should get to the top of the town tall tower by yourself. I couldn't unweave this mysterious bell. Among the Umbra, you have the highest affinity for magic. Give me some advice, at least. Several people have pe oh, already perished in that cursed town hall. The bell's magic saps the mortal's will and forces them to climb ever upwards, but we're different. Very well, Corazon, but I'll take only a look. The moment I sense any danger, I'm turning around and getting out of here. Dope. Ah, let's just go to the town hall first. On your way to the town hall, you're joined by Corazon. You examine the staircase and can see that it is indeed enchanted. Luckily, the spell doesn't affect Umbra. As you try to make sense of the intricate spell craft, Corazon creeps up from behind you and shoves you forward. What a dick. You rush up the stairs against your will. The sorcery is affecting you, even though it shouldn't. You, mustn't turn, you must turn back, but you can't. Your feet heed you not. God dang it, Corazon, you dick. On the upper platform of the bell tower, you find the soldiers who got too close to the enchanted stairs. Their eyes are banquet, you draw your sword, the guards might not attack you of their own free will. But, that is not the reason to get yourself killed. Whap, whap, whap. Punk. <laughs> wow, this is easy. Bring it. Ow.
Ha ha ha. What's up? Trying to get that butt kicked? Oh, I should have probably killed them first. They seem like they're getting stronger. Whoops. Ow, damn it. I think I'm gonna die for my transgressions. He's gonna come up and thwack me, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. I could kill him with this attack. Ha 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 ha. You're screwed to now, son. What's up? Wow. Oh, we got an achievement. bell keeps tolling. The rope swings on its own. Under the spell's effect, simply grabbing it should break the enchantment and you'll be free to leave. But it's a trick. Touching the rope triggers a, a curse. Trusting Curzon was a mistake, and you're about to suffer the consequences. You muster up the courage and grab the rope. Losing your footing, the bell tower crumbles. Everything goes black. All but a message burned into your mind. Follow the guiding one. Collect the seven parts of wisdom. Read it and be saved. Hooray. We did something bad, I guess. You wake up to someone slapping you in the face, then hauling you upward, upright. You struggle to open your eyes. The first thing you see is your blackened and frozen hand, which has been absorbed by the full power of the curse. One look back is enough to confirm your suspicions. The town hall's bell tower has been destroyed. We did it! Yay! We gained a skill point. The curse is spreading. Balance stats are lowered. I haven't caught your breath. Damn you, Curzon! You scoundrel, I dragged you from the rubble and what do I get in return? Have you lost your your tongue or have you no gratitude? The town hall tower is no more. You brought it all down. Somehow the store's still in one piece though and the tolling has stopped. That kind of magic is out of my league, Curzon. I can't only tell you that is definitely keep that it definitely kept something horrifying at bay. It still does, but now with my help, see my hand? This unknown sorcerer must have both black hands blackened. <laughs> or could it be sorceress? No matter, a being capable of such magic can assume any form. The spell hasn't broken and there's, that's no ordinary curse on your hand. The bell must have been a decoy then, but I don't understand the enchantment's purpose. How should I know? If not for the bell tolling, the people of the Albius might have been have slaughtered each other. Damnation! It's your fault I got caught in this enchantment, along with God knows who else. What if the blackness spreads to my heart? Uh. Hasn't happened yet. Even w enough with the weeping. A pompous nobleman is headed your way. You met my request, so I owe you one. However, if you want to ensure my goodwill, I suggest you find Thorn and bring him to Opacum. I want to have a look at him. Oh, here comes Prince Trig. Give a shit about Prince Trig. The dreams come true, Skyab. Scribe, the hag was right. You stopped the bell. Well, I invite you to serve the Duranian crown from now on. Find my son Ho and the captain who led him away, named Thorn Brennan. Save my boy and bring the captain to trial. Excuse my insolence, your highness. I only wish to understand. First, I heard about a girl, a profound beauty. Now there's some talk of a halt. There's talk of some hag. And what of this dream? Does it pertain to your orders? Uh. I dreamt of a hag who foretold your arrival. She tried to soothe me, said you would help. Don't grind your teeth, Crimson. Respect the Draenian crown. <laughs> you demand respect for the crown, yet you show none for the temple. All these dreams and prophecies are pure heresy. Oh, and forget about Thorn. He's not your subject. It's not up to you to bring him to justice. Mm. It might surprise you, monk, but I'm perfectly capable of making decisions without your precious guidance. Is it too much to say that annoying temple advisors belong to the wreck? On the wreck? Mm. The temple is above any crown. An overgrown stalk can always be trimmed, Kurnzone. 
even one growing in a temple. If anything happens to Ho, Thorn's head will roll. And if you object, you'll lose yours too. Smiling mockingly, really? Maybe you'll cobble a scaffold together yourself and find an executioner too. Do you even have a herald? What will he cry about? How Odoas shows no respect for the crown of Jorena. I'm no executioner, but I could pass for a herald. The ruins of the bell tower make me afraid the scaffold won't survive me either. It's a deal, your then, your highness. You show kindness in any time in my time of need. Now it's time I return the favor. What? Glad to hear that. The gods were on the cardinal's side today. Let's leave it at that. Bow to the scribe, Kurzon. Has he soothed my anger? But don't you dare talk back to the crown prince. As for you, scribe, you should greet your future companions. What the world? Curse power? Sucks. Approaching your new companions out of the blue, I entered the royal service and found myself some good travel companions. Looking at a man you haven't met yet, you're a new face to me. You probably already had the lecture on goals and reasons, but I still like my pro a proper introduction. My name is Hopper Ruley. I'm a scribe. Oh God. I'm Stein, the Albus Royal Guard. The Dranians picked me up by the watchtower and pestered me with questions all the way here. Now they've sent me to accompany you. I'm not thrilled, but it's better than arguing with Prince Trig. Mushroom, fancy meeting you here. The prince entrusts you with priority uh, priority assignments, I see. Guarding the gates, spying on scribes. Mushroom, don't you don't have you not have anything better to do? You're my business now, Hopper. I'd much rather spend quality time with the young dub told from Albius, but the king's will is the king's will. You're wasting your time, scribe. I'd rather find out where to look for Prince Ho. I'm certainly considering it, no, no doubt. There aren't ma that many roads in this world. You're still young. We've plenty of time to travel them all. If we don't find Ho, we'd best not come back here. That's an interesting suggestion, Mustin. I'll consider it. Still, I think I'd better... It'd be better to find the prince. You look as if you don't approve, Stein. Look, I know Thorn Brennan, and I'm certain he would kill with, without good reason of anything. He tried to save the prince. I'll follow orders and find him, but in my opinion, the man is innocent. I'm certain he wouldn't kill without good reason. You are indeed a man of duty, following orders you dispose of, disapprove of. For the time being, all you can do is point Thorn out to me if, when we catch him. Mm. Everybody's got their own responsibilities. One of our captains thought differently, but Thorn Brennan is another sort of story. It's a father's duty to protect his children, and protect them he will. Had it not been for this cursed reaping, Thorn might have replaced Trouble as Burgomaster. Many nobles have ascended the scaffold, but very few have returned. Must you always escort me, Ake? Eh, laughing all you want. I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm quite capable of handling a dozen gals all by myself, but not taking down the town hall is another thing. Don't you dare hex me or I'll beat the living daylights out of you. I am no sorcerer, Ake. The town hall is already falling apart. I just sneeze a little too hard, but thanks for the warning. <laughs> you sneeze so hard that the Cardinal himself waded through the rubble to get you out. That's so much, quite, some achievement right there. Chance rules the world, Ake. That and strong fellows like you, if you're lucky. Good, it's time to go. We will get to know each other on the way. Don't get frightened if anything else crumbles like the town hall. Wait a minute, book lover. His Highness told me to give you a jug of Temple Balm. Doesn't want it to want you to fall ill, I guess. He also granted you travel documents with his personal seal. Here you go. It'll make the journey easier. Mm. How curious. The prince shows us with gifts of his job, and that isn't even half done. Well, if that's all you have to say, let us be on our way. Let's talk in private for a moment. We've a long road ahead, and I need to tell you something. They say the Cardinal blessed you, so you're not just some filthy sorcerer, right? So you won't make fun of me. 
tall as you are, you're forced to look up to the giant. You wait for him to say anything. You're wrong. Dingus, whatever happened to our prince in his dream? I saw a pretty girl, the one that Peng Pettigang thought he glimpsed. But I never mentioned her to anybody. Why didn't you? Did you pity the girl, or was it something else? And how do you know it was the same girl? There are many pretty women in Burkana. More than anywhere else in the world, if you ask me. They make your blood race, not curdle. I would nearly shat my britches when she came to my tent, the way she stared at me. And then, when she vanished into thin air, I decided that it'd be best to keep silent, you know, for appearance's sake. Why did you bring her up, then? I don't know. So she came to me because because of you. Tell your new companions to look for signs, she said. He values his life. He, sh life. he should watch and listen closely. The signs, she said, should be found in burnt crawls, ruins, or a place where there's no water, or some such nonsense. Nonsense or not, thank you for telling me. I'll rack my brain for a way to save the prince and solve these riddles. Let's go. Your rulers can't wait to see us leave. Oh my gosh, you leap into the saddle with plenty to think about. Clearly, Quran is in. Receive no message. It was addressed to you. Follow the guiding one. Collect the seven parts of wisdom. Read and be saved. Gods know where the parts of wisdom might be. This guiding one is also a mystery. It seems there's a long road ahead. No time for leisurely traveling to the far ends of ter Terminum. The reaping the prince... Thorn and his daughters, all of them are bound together. One can only pray there will be no need to sever this tie. Hmm. Ah, we have options. I think we're gonna actually call it a break for the night, because I am out of voice to read. So I'm a little, is there a way to save? I'm just gonna assume it's gonna save, hopefully. I got a skill point, that's kinda cool. Oh, that's really good. Devouring Blood seems OP, actually. How do I level it up, though? Won't let me. Broken. No, I don't know. I'll figure it out next time, I guess. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching as always. Uh, we're two chapters. Well, we're actually three. We're on our third chapter. I think there's nine in total in the game, so we got a bit to go. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And if you want to leave like any tips, suggestions, whatever, I always appreciate it. Bye.